sorry, this isn't a plain sight. Did my right star fall? Thanks, Blaze TV, the one and only Mr. Brandon Steele. We are, we are in for it, folks. Yeah. We, we have become punch drunk. David is 90 minutes into describing getting raped. <laughs> it's just... Can you talk about something <laughs> other than rape? No! 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 no. I'm not gay. I was raped by aliens. <laughs> yeah, we were just... I was looking at his live chat during our, our break, and someone did ask him if you, maybe you could talk about something <laughs> less rapey. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, shall we? Let's... Yeah. Uh, Let's get to it, everyone. So now this is, we are, theoretically, we are done with the rape portion of the program. David's going to put on his happy glasses, and then we're going to get on to uh, more uplifting material. Yeah, vibes are up from here. We got through it together. We got through Barely. it together. The fetish glasses are on. Fetish glasses? <laughs> we did it, and we still got 35, nobody, nobody left. We still got 3,526 people. Thank you. <laughs> Hell I'm yeah. Take care of you with this. I'm not gay. I just like getting my ass whipped. <laughs> I'm not gay. I just have gay glasses yeah. and a gay whip. And okay, I'm in dicks everywhere. I'm into BDSM. Okay. You know, we got to create love. You got to wear Trump slippers. You got to have your fetish whip. You get you fucked in the ass. Gay glasses. Okay, these are all. Oh, those are your gay time. glasses. You know, you have a lot of gay attire for a man who's not gay. For a guy who's not gay, he sure draws a lot of dicks. Talks, talks a ton about getting fucked in the butt. Yeah, he, repeatedly claims he's not gay. He had so much cum in his mouth, he was coughing clouds of cum in yes. the previous episode. Yeah, not gay. Not gay at <laughs> not all. Not gay at all. How dare you even you insinuate have- it? Gay People glasses. who lived with him asking him directly yeah. if he's gay. The gay man being like, hey, dude, you're gay too, right? No. No. <laughs> no. no I'm, I'm not, not gay. gay. You're gay. <laughs> <laughs> would a gay man wear these glasses? <laughs> yeah, would a gay man wear gay glasses? <laughs> okay, these are all essential elements of how we get through this and how we do this. So, again, mm-hmm. now we're not going to go through the poem anymore, but no, thank God. <laughs> I did want to just point out that It ends with me dying, and that is what was happening. I'm dying in these experiences, and I'm falling through a black abyss. Again, this part isn't that scary. Light as air. (laughs) None of it is scary. Yeah, none of it was really scary, to be honest. It's just high school poetry. It actually has a comical element to it. This is one of the pieces of art. Oh, yeah, the comical element of abuse from George Bush. I, I, how are we going to get through this? (laughs) He just, (laughs) every single poem is just a different guy who rapes David. It's just every person, every famous person had their way with him. So that was, let me tell you about the time the Vatican fucked my butt. And then after that, we'll talk about the aliens coming in my mouth. And then after that, President George W. Bush. <laughs> he also fucked my butt. Uh, <laughs> where I wrote the poem me, about it. And then I, sho- and then I added a I'm not gay. <laughs> I'm not super not gay. Uh, oh, more bonds. That's joint. more. Ooh, my brother but, drew me like thinking but about the joint is a penis. Know, drugs and everything. I guess there's an angel of death there. So you can kind of see where this is going. But then you have, Can I? he says, your turn. And at first I thought it was just about, you know, he wants me to smoke with him. But then when you look at no, the joint, it actually could represent something else. Oh, oh. It's a, it is a penis. <laughs> <in> George. <laughs> George H.W. Bush is uh. handing David a penis to hit. <laughs> you Here, wanna, Dave, suck this <laughs> dick. You want to hit this <laughs> dick? <laughs> and, uh, you know, your turn. Uh, of something that happened right, yeah, so that's probably what that means. <laughs> so, uh, I, oh God, he's got gay and insane! Oh my God, George H. W. Bush. Oh. And I will say that when he became president, it very, very much freaked me out. Yeah, because you like, thought you were gonna have to <laughs> suck his dick. Being president of the United States, he is president. The most it's only polite. Feeling from him, and I was compelled oh to draw. Oh my God! This. So again, maybe he was one of my abusers. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this is entirely possible. This is <laughs> this is such an unhinged thing to do. Just go on YouTube. Accuse the president of raping. Yeah. So oh my God! And you just keep bringing up childhood drawings, be like, totally okay, so here's the penis <laughs> being inserted like into me. Hypnosis, totally you know, not in your normal mind. His, left, his right eye looks like a, a, a penis. Oh, uh-huh. he's got some kind of <laughs> TV behind him, and along with the Illuminati step pyramid on the left there. What are you says, doing, step like pyramid? Or <laughs> so maybe that's what happened. Oh, I'm he's stuck in the in the, the, the washing like machine the step pyramid. I don't know. I'm just speculating. So we showed you Can you help get me out of that pyramid? I'm just getting fucked by a sphinx. <laughs> oh, great. We're back to this drawing. Where they ran into something they didn't expect. You got the weird pyramid that's opening up. You got, as some people described, it could be like, you know, <laughs> it's like a stingray coming out of the coming out of the lunar lander. It also oh, looks like, God. you know, 
female sexual organs. Like the uterus. Oh, right, the, the uterus. That thing's the uterus? But then up at the top, we have these weird reptilian Draco symbols. First of all, we got the double-headed eagle, stylized you, from you my subconscious. You already That's showed us this. Yeah, you've similar. already done this. Showing that this was on the moon. There was evil like this on the moon. And then we had and uh, this. <laughs> Chris Beskar, the insider, confirm at our event in Loveland, Colorado. <laughs> He's inside you. This image that you're seeing yeah. now is indeed an image of inside your bank the account. Draco um, motherships that greeted the Apollo lunar lander when they got there. And so if you look at this, he, Chris said, yes, this is pretty much what Half they look like. How do all these guys end up so fucking horny? Because he's taken this from William Tompkins' book, tank treads on it, and but he's it does have terminally black magic horny. It's, it's part of the mania. I think it is. It looks remarkably similar. I would say this is a very close get remote viewing type of psychic. Aggressively plus sexual. Eagle, plus you have the pyramid on the moon, plus you have the lunar lander. It's all there. It's very, very interesting. But another one that you didn't see, oh, I drew okay. in 1992. <laughs> no, tortured on the moon. It's, it's artistic and gothic, but not really scary, about being tortured on the moon. It has images of the pineal gland. It has images of blood and images of the syringe. Which so is a penis. Thing. Now, as we've learned, it is drawn. Yeah, of, this, of course. Of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Of... <laughs> the man on the moon. I just drew that shape all at once. And this is while I was listening to Tangerine Dream's album Ricochet, which to me is like the most powerful psychedelic album anybody's ever made, I think. I yeah, because you're on drugs when you listen to it. <laughs> so, if we look at this and forensically analyze what's going on here, please there is a face, stop course, using the word forensic. It really, literally the looks two like eyes nothing. Are kind of like put together like this by the gaps, and then you see he's got a nose and he's got a mouth. Now around his mouth, it Does looks he? like there's something smeared on his mouth, and you can probably guess what that's a representation of. Oh, he's got um, cum on his mouth. What? We we might have to stop. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> is he fucking with us? I. How could he not be? <laughs> He did a three and a half hour show just talking about cum in his mouth. There's just there's cum on everything. Everybody's mouth. Every <laughs> Everybody's mouth has cum on it. Every single drawing is just gay sex. <laughs> right eye. It's cum, very cum, cum, cum. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. His eye is a penis. Jesus the Christ. Right eye. It's it's very phallic. Okay. Uh, He's. I don't. He, is anyone God gay crazy? <laughs> no, I was just trying to put it into words. It is. He has some sort of it's homosexual a, yeah. mania. <laughs> he's just, he's, I, you know what I think it is? I think he is so afraid of being gay that he's literally seeing the signs everywhere. Like yeah. he's trying to hide from it, but he can't escape it. The walls are closing in. And yes, the balls are closing in. No matter where he looks, he sees cocks and cum. Oh, God. It's very phallic. I'm not gay. 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 And that eye is like surrounded by more cum. Funny stuff. So yeah, yeah, maybe okay. I was taken into the desert. Maybe that's why we see this. There's uh, cum in his mouth. Oh, he got raped in the desert. People. There's 200 of you that can't hang with me through this. We're almost done with the weird art, I promise. But anyway, David, it's not the art. It's that you're insinuating everything is jizz. <laughs> You've been talking about cocks for 99 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> We're at 1st now, so we lost a few people. Uh, like spaceships why are the people <laughs> watching still? <laughs> Just a little bit more. <laughs> 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 a little bit more. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Look over yeah. here. It's yeah. another yeah. dick. Like Just Bob Ross. Yeah. 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 Being a little nice little come over here. Yeah. Yeah. Happy little ball set. <laughs> <laughs> very, very weird and trippy and scary. 1992 yeah. is when I drew this. Uh, oh, okay, please let's read some talk about here. anything anything but this. So um, That's actually a Draco map, somebody says. I doubt the... Yeah, it's not a not a cum covered face. The globe in outer space. He's on his it's a map. Well, tomato, tomato. <laughs> like an One man's Somebody Draco says, map is another Frank man's jizz covered <laughs> face. For LA Summer Olympics, there was a flying saucer oh, and a silver God. Suit alien, all designed, choreographed by Disney. Mm -hmm. uh, John Smith says, "I remember a short story I did in college where a group of reptilian high schoolers raped me." Oh no, corpse. Crystal P says, I'm exhausted over this. We are just about done with the yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm oh, just the last one. In Crystal's fact, had <laughs> just about enough <laughs> of <laughs> all the <laughs> common <laughs> rape. Else from here out is not <laughs> Imagine if you had been out of the loop on David Wilcock for the last, like, three years, and you just know him from Gaia uh, and Wisdom teaching. Like, I wonder what David's up to. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> now this is why there's cum on the face. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> and this is a drawing of when George H.W. Bush fucked my mouth. I thought you were going to talk so about the secret people, space so program. And that will do the Time, <laughs> Those are also you know, come. <laughs> this is it. We, we got through the whole thing. Um, That's why they were white. Okay, so, <laughs> the original this is top a lot easier to read was made of solidified uh, cum. Ooh, is... Uh, wait, oh, Diary 2013. Oh, oh, diary God. 2013. So the first thing you might notice is, well, yeah, 2013 is right after 2012. 
Yeah, okay. that's how numbers sure work. Is. No He's right. He's got us there. Poems of abuse. This is the last that we got through oh all of Oh my god, now. I'm fucking I'm sweating. sweating. The minutes. gay so rape good. is okay. over. So, that's what he wants us okay, to think. Okay, 2013. Now remember, we had the movie 2001. Everybody was hoping that by 2013 we'd all be in space. The water is also calm. <laughs> Not really true, but anyway. Thank you guys for hanging with me. He's Hardly just got a Mio. Of, 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 of come. Uh, into his water. So we're going to keep This going. is good for your skin. So again, it's got uh, electrolytes. Okay, 19, 14, <laughs> I, I added it up. And I, I, I mix it with pickle juice. <laughs> three years, which is interesting because the law of one says it's a 300-year transition period between, uh, actually, it's the, <laughs> the huh. India article. Oh, yeah. Well, let's talk on, about um, India daily. A website in India that I have in book one of Michael Prophecies. That's where this came from. Yeah. The 300 year figure. So this is very interesting. Crystal P just donated. Thank you, Crystal. She's <laughs> Please stop you. talking <laughs> about <laughs> cum. This is his loyal fans begging him to stop talking about gay rape. He's been talking about it for three weeks. He finally figured out what his people don't love. What happens and how I kick these guys' ass. In the well, they did something to your ass. <laughs> yeah, they like really back, had, had their way with it. But I guess I still managed to get out alive. A whole bunch. Really cool. So this is very oh. interesting. This is like... They were just freestyle I mean, fucking his ass. Have <laughs> <have> <laughs> all kinds of positions and locations. Uh. Make such an outrageous claim as anything like the idea of a secret space program. I mean, thank God I saved all my paperwork. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, thank Christ. I, any of it. I managed to do that. Thank God. So anyway, here's where we got this. I feel a shift in the temperature of the room when I get up this morning. Reaching for the climate adjust dial, I turn it to the tropical equatorial setting, and the room fills David, you had air, air conditioning at this point. I grab the brute men's sanitizer from the cabinet by my bed. Clean my ass. My armpit, feeling a slight tickle on my skin. Like it's He's electrical. trying to write like um, I do the other side, American crawl out of bed psycho. and float down to the clothing dispenser. I press the shirt button using the correct amount of speed and strength to reflect how I feel. The button senses how I feel and spits out a shirt accordingly. And she underlined my teacher spit. underlined this and said it was awkward. That's what spitters or quitters. Was. I didn't actually get an A on this, you guys. I got a B plus. Wow, mm-hmm. no. <laughs> so that was part of the reason why she gave me a B plus. Well, you Pressing probably include too much cum. Gives me a pair based <laughs> oh on no! Oh shirt. God, is his feed? Is his his uh, camera lens is covered in cum? Dollars. Thank you. Putting on the day's clothes, I touch the locations for the people. Pop up a job for me to do. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to get through two more hours. <laughs> oh, clever! This job basically resembles an air traffic This is no good. Many times and contacting the drivers. I, that's what I want to do with this YouTube video. It's just circling <laughs> right. This is no good. In this colony, which is obviously off planet, everyone is taught every job. There is no need to ever be bored. And she said, "This is good." Also oh, this is good. Oh. By having workers with initiative, Boo. because of the wide variety of jobs, having read the job and receiving the accompanying uniform. I am basically it's like a 3D printed uniform. You know, really interesting. Like maybe this stuff is true. Maybe there's something to this. No, you no. just wrote something in high school. Maybe this is actually <laughs> real. D. Bonanential and Richard Whitney. Thank you. Wow, Richard donated a hundred dollars. Wow. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Please stop <laughs> talking about <laughs> you're getting raped. Just every single donation. <laughs> yes, I ripped that from 2001, and I put them on. The luxury of being able to stay on the ground is again mine. Just the ego. I think they actually do have their own gravity. So this to is probably read just your high school homework mind. as gospel to an audience of 3,500 people. Sanitize me of any germs, and she said awkward again. This is how myself. this is how afraid he is to me. come up with new material. Is he would rather just read his homework from high school yeah. than have a, a single new thought. To sanitize me of any germs I may have picked up. Ooh, we got more donations. Salim Ilatab <laughs> and Daniel Lewandowski. <laughs> Thank you guys both for that. Hey, David, let's a meditation contribution session to raise money. You brought me the Cosmic Secret. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciate that. <coughs> oh, fuck, I'm losing right, my so voice, too. <laughs> I've been attacked. <laughs> George I, I, I H.W. Bush. The <laughs> he jizzed in your throat. It's like poisonous. It's not acceptable anymore. It slows production. It's caustic. And makes tasks take longer. When the room turns yellow, I take a deep breath and hold my breath. The room turns red. The germ-killing gas escapes from vents. It is blown away. The room turns green, and I emerge ready for day of work. That sounds plausible. I mean, I don't really know if this stuff is true. <laughs> yeah, that sounds that super that plausible. Yeah, Why not? That's, that's, that's likely. Face, which I very well apparently had done. So I think there's oh, a lot of truth in this. Story. Okay, my, my apologies. So what, he's dis- what we are hearing now is David is apparently... Um, writing about his life in the secret space program of course where when he would fall asleep in between the president and aliens fucking his butt and mouth and pretty much any warrior as they get a dick into yeah he was a super soldier of some variety of course yeah yeah i am a colonist on the newly developed nasa space station feeling very fortunate to land the job 
because of my past scientific research efforts. I have a wife and son on Earth and parents Not anymore. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, too bad. I work for the good um, colony. I'm getting pounded as so hard. The other scientists here. So we're hard to have kids when you come in man's asses. Make an appeal to whatever it is you desire. <laughs> He said it would work. This is tricky gay roommate. I just wanted to have a kid. Which I capitalized. The anti-grab water fountain is in full splendor. I just told him he was an alien who could get pregnant that way. Yeah, that sounds right. People on the A level, it looks normal because they all live on what I think is the ceiling. In fact, any of the walls can be walked on due to the gravitative shoes we wear. If I took off my shoes, I could float around, but floaters have to be kept to a minimum to avoid collisions. Wow, I got two more donations. Tristan Nearly and Diane Moult, thank you. Also, sailing 50 feet from the floor to the ceiling, which becomes a floor, is very exhilarating and scary. You know, I finally experience. understand. I didn't want to mention it before we fully started. The top comment on this video is something about how I never thought I would turn off a David Wilcock video because I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> but now, you know, it makes sense. Or I can I see why some people chamber, wouldn't want to listen to him. Well, pun intended, he blew his load. My destination, the outgoing <laughs> spacecraft um, hold. Whoa. So this is one of the things that just really, really jumped out at me. He really oh, burned wait. through all his material this material very quickly. System. That's what I'm saying. It only, it, fa- it's only been six weeks of him doing a video every week. Yeah. And that's it. He's out of shit. He's, he's completely out. These vacuum tubes that are in a I can't wait until he's just reading like Chinese food menus. <laughs> yeah. Pot stickers. <laughs> Move the guy pan. So this is one of those. The guy fucked me. Maybe it's because some of this is true. Maybe all of it is true. I enter a one man pod. The guy pan. Move the guy pan. One man pod with my name on it, and I activate it with a green opti key that I keep with me. Shut up. So I enter into a one man pod. Shut up. I did hear that they have passes that allow them to get into their own areas of access, and that the pass has the access. Such a pieable face. <laughs> That's why they cream pied it. <laughs> yeah. it was a metaphor. They all came on his face. Who molested me? This is a really, really big one. They all have their way with the sponsors. Support the space station by paying to have their advertisements put up. Billboards are the same as on Earth, except there are no alcohol or tobacco advertisements. The products are now illegal to publicly advertise. Smokers must go into a special smoke ionization room which ionization ionizes and destroys smoke particles in slow water-like waves. She says, yes, let's get rid of these monsters. She what? doesn't like tobacco and alcohol, apparently. What a, what a base, bummer. I portal, a prude. I must enter when I start yeah. my job. When I see it, I aim the pod's onboard antenna at the portal and type in my access code, name, and ID number. This sounds very specific. It's like I really knew what I was talking about. I then, it's like you watched a movie. Yeah, codes, it's like you just copied a movie. flight patterns as the pod begins mechanically transforming into my office. So I'm in this pod... And it goes inside this room, and then everything is like... He can't possibly think people care about, about this. And then it'll morph back into the pod when I leave. That's another really... really I don't know what he's thinking. I, I mean, it's just <laughs> a story he wrote that he's no pretending is now that real. The heads-up display of incoming craft blinks to life with a TWA cargo bus, bus, which is really a spaceship, <laughs> and a Rockwell International passenger jet, not really a jet, mm. docking for position in order to land properly. After I send in the triangulated coordinates, I press the visa phone button. This is like Skype or Zoom. Mm-hmm. I enter in country code, city code, local number of my house on Earth. Since all long-distance calls were made free, she says, watch your verb tense. I am not <laughs> Wait, charged for calling my house densely you're... populated in the state of Wyoming. <laughs> I find out from my Just reading my corrections from his high school English teacher. Watched on the whole of you. I mean, he's just, he's finding meaning in nothing. Bird and Grover that I saw on two-dimensional uh, yes, televisions of yesterday. It's, when he finishes describing the exploits of these fuzzy urban creatures, I press This the is the most nothing he has ever nothing. Like this... Yeah. This is... We, we're not even scraping the barrel. We have punctured a hole in the bottom of the barrel, and he's just fucking scraping the platform the barrel was positioned on. There is... There is just, there's no here, here. There How is he going to keep going? There is no substance. Button on the VisaPhone panel, and I leave my wife a message, a voice message with video to call me at 2100 What about your math homework, Dave? How'd you do in the Yeah, let's just go over all your old homework. Hydroplane. Starting in freshman I year. I contact the barge and tell it to reverse course immediately. When the hydroplane's path Ooh, is finally I relax back into my chair <laughs> and press a volume strip onto my wrist. Now we're talking. Nice. <laughs> peel it off after a few seconds to avoid being heavily medicated, and she thought that was great. <laughs> Uh, this is really funny. She I loves love Valium. Love Banana sandwich. Beautiful future vision. <laughs> Hours later, I drive home and crawl into my room. I take off the ground. Now, he, shoes. oddly enough, when you start finding out that people made you into a banana sandwich, and you start remembering those things, you got to take some you gotta time gotta off. You got to take some time off. <laughs> he recognized then that when you start realizing all shit like this. Yeah, you got to take a break. You got to take some time off. <laughs> 
So maybe he's he's pushing through and it's driven him mad. He's supposed to be taking time off. But, but he I can't guess, afford it. Yeah, literally, he cannot afford yeah. to do that. The, the government has uh, come for him. And relax after a long day. Um. I throw all my clothes into the laundry chute and activate it, sending clothes into a cleaning mechanism. I float into my bed and turn on the environment holographic simulator to the forest setting, which is just like the holodeck in Star Trek, before Star Trek ever came out. Mm-hmm. The room turns into a grassy, wonderful forest. Star Trek Next Generation, I guess it just no, came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it had just come out. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> uh, God. Uh, it's just, it's so exhausting. You know what, uh, on some good news, though, I did find out, I think he has to pay his next uh, property tax coming up in June. Nice. Based on the quality of this performance, I'm not sure he's going to be able to raise the funds. That's going to be rough. Immersed in a wild, playful dream, I'm abruptly called to attention by a high-pitched whistle and glaring white light. I had given my wife a message to call me, and I'd forgotten that I'd be asleep at 21 hours that night. She was fucking mad. Man. <laughs> I couldn't get hard. Tears. It looks like she's right there no in the room. For that in the future. She begins to talk to me, and I explain that I forgot that I would be asleep at this time of the day today. Mm-hmm. She understands and tells me I never do anything right. I agree, <laughs> and we both laugh at my stupidity. Mm. Well, I guess I'll let you sleep, she says. And, I then and explain I'm not gay, here. actually. So well, Tyrone's <laughs> here. The massage I was supposed to have on Friday. John so Red again, looks like is. another time loop into the present where I actually did oversleep recently, but I didn't get wake oh, up. Oh, you overslept for a massage. Mm-hmm. So she says, Why is he paying for massages? Because it's the only way you can get someone to touch him. I guess. I think about what I might end up doing. You do happy endings, right? I am amazed at how well I can't actually come, but I'd like to try. Just an old Chinese man. Thank you very much for the David. This is disgusting. You only pay for hours. Did not so even is <laughs> the future poem is only worthy of a B plus because you rambled on in too much detail. Yeah, I've heard that before. Now. I mean, oh, oh, talk about a time loop. Someone yeah. who's just rambled on yeah. for way too long. This wasn't really for high school. It was for me. Uh-huh. So uh, around the same time, you know, I saw that horrible movie Hellraiser 2. Oh, really okay. And let me guess, you wrote a story that sounds a lot like the plot. And let me guess, there was cum on his face. Labyrinth and this weird... Obelisk shaped thing like two the needles or penises. Black- <laughs> and this is from a comic book, you know, same kind of deal. A comic book. Again, it's called the Leviathan. <laughs> I had a very intense dream after I saw this movie that I then drew, and we mm. found no, out not that in the fact there is a again. palace in Antarctica. And I think Pete Peterson had mentioned this to me at one point. I just laughed. Chris Beskard mentioned this to me. I just laughed. But the idea He's got to talk to a normal person. Like probably Literally anyone. Therapist, I would imagine. Except that therapist. It's way more yeah. fancy and lavish than anything else on Earth. And when you go in there, you know that this could be considered somebody who rules the Earth. I mean, he'll and never do it because the last projects, sane person he talked to was the uh, refrigerator guess. installation guy who told him his fridge wasn't ear splittingly loud. Yeah. And David thought he was probably like a deep state operative lying yeah. down. It's just, he doesn't. I don't think he realizes how fucking far gone he is. I don't think he does either. No, no. He's he's nigh beyond saving. Up until watching this, I had some sort of hope that he could find his way back to solid ground. But this is real fucking far from the ground. Yeah, I mean, these are the actions of a man who needs to be institutionalized. Legitimately psychotic ramblings. Yeah. Like, mentally unwell delusional yeah the definition of mental illness the, the one of the most like cliche crazy guy things is believing like the pope and the president are sending are, you messages yeah, are talking to you and he doesn't even believe that he thinks the president fucked him <laughs> <laughs> he had sex with hw bush identifies as lucifer it may appear as like an older man like an elderly male i'm not exactly sure yeah, and what'd you That's do with him in the story i'm about to write so the story oh. i'm about to write <laughs> That you're going to read with me now is, is literally where I storm Lucifer's palace and I destroy Maybe Lucifer. he's trying to kill us. Kill him, only to find it does feel like psychological to warfare to an extent. I am extremely proud of the story that you're about to read. Of course. Not violent, I mean, we, we have to be the only violence. ones no putting the gay the thoughts in his head. Huge, that, maybe there is something to manifesting reality because, yes, there is... Never before in his entire career had he talked about being gay. And now... Now it's all he can talk about. <laughs> For a month straight. Yeah. Well, a month gay. <laughs> yeah. Short story. I mean, all the scans add up to 100 I can't pages, wait for Pride Month. I use all of it because it would take us too long. Wait, he wrote a 100-page so, yeah, short story? Before I read you this story, I want to point out once more that I had this dream based on the Leviathan from Hellraiser 2, and it seems to be related to Lucifer's Palace and the upcoming movie The Matrix. 
because this was in 1989. Maybe we should get this and do another so table read. So I saw that there were <laughs> trapped in a matrix that were powering some windmill, like the windmill was turning oh, based upon their soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So each of these uh, crossing points in this grid that you see represents a person where the white circle is their head, the black circle is their feet, and the line is them trapped in this matrix. Don't and this windmill come. is literally feeding off of their collective soul energy, parsing into this Lucifer's palace. And there's Lucifer in the background with two lions on either side of him as the Antichrist, and he is. Wait, you that's know, weird, I thought that was Islamic Jesus palace. in the background. And of course, there's another phallic symbol to the left. No, Antichrist. They, oh, oh, and there's a penis. Yeah, of which, course. What, which, which thing's the penis? Palace. And of course, there's another phallic symbol to the left, again showing the things they do. Oh, this, yeah, this thing, thing, this thing is a, pe- it's a penis. penis. Of yeah. course, it is. So it looks like that. a thing of asparagus. Silly which, of us to not see the dick on the page. Literally, any cylinder adjacent object is just a cock yeah that anymore so again this very interesting concept of the matrix long before the movie came out i drew the same i wish thing. i could have been there There's to see him and now uh, like analyzing Lucifer, all these images this, this strange it's like building penis? That he's in. Penis? this is also a penis so, oh god why uh, are they everywhere this this image, more penis? This <laughs> showed me all right where's matrix the dick involved. in this one <laughs> she's playing where's waldo yeah. but for for penises I it's wrote, I spy, but you can only spy cock. Yeah. In, longhand in spiiral notebooks, and I never really gave it a title. Colin, I started it when I was sixteen. I wait, finished Colin it when I was McGeezer, maybe? It's pretty remarkable when you see the quality of the writing to think that I was sixteen when I wrote most of the story. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's really yeah. good stuff. And I no ego. To call it Colin <laughs> creates himself. So yes, I've enjoyed the name Colin for a long time. So my hero in the story is also named Colin. This started out as a hyper complex and amazing I got dream fucked that I had. in the butt. I and did. I I like, wow. <laughs> fucked my ass. They <laughs> did. To, uh, it was on a Saturday. I remember that. I, I Colin slept McKeister. in. I had, like, <laughs> it was so amazing. The dream was on. Um, uh, it was talking about the secret space program and talking about how I escaped. And it's very fascinating because Uncle the dream was Colin's gonna <laughs> fuck your ass. <laughs> <laughs> right Just the dream. putting on the glasses <laughs> and kind of pulling down his pants. <laughs> Uh, uh Dave, Uncle really Colin, David's not gay, but I'll go call it his. Uncle Colin wants him a really piece of ass. What are they really thinking? Uncle Colin's a predator, he is. So, our lead character, Colin, runs away from home at the beginning. I'm going to skip oh, over this because there's a lot it. of these pages. And it's just kind of boring setup, and it doesn't really. He's really, he's really just about to read an entire story. He says, Fine, I'm leaving, I'm never coming back. He catches a bus. Because he's going well, he's gay. Hotel, yeah, and she together. she says yeah. she's gonna disown him, well, so he leaves. Hotel, it's amazing. Everybody oh. parties there. All of our oh, it's a gay there. hotel. You you Fire to Island. They're just doing poppers and butt fucking. <laughs> so he catches this bus, and when he gets on the bus, he meets a woman named Debbie, and they fall madly in love. Now, the way that they fall in love in the story is is so sexy that there's no way I could get away with reading it on YouTube. It's Ooh. So they do get to like David, why are you writing erotica as, novels uh, at you know, 16? They really get also, how could you describe the, the previous together, sexual you know, abuse? And Things start to happen. So um, that uh, part of the story we're not going to read. She it's pegged me. Very well, but it's also just <laughs> extremely horny. And not at all appropriate. Oh, <laughs> nice. Like Extremely uh, horny. Extra horny. So that's that's uh, something we're not going to read. Dangerously stay on horny. <laughs> but, you know, this is a legitimate thing. David, I was going to get fucked by Chester Cheeto. Uh, <laughs> they finally get it's off just the everything's the about <laughs> sex. And, and this is on page 34. He's, he's dangerously <laughs> horny right now. Yeah, there were no silent trucks. Now we would say, oh, yeah, it's an electric vehicle. But remember, I wrote this in 1990. He's so horny, now, he's gone crazy. In the underground bases, they've been using electric vehicles and free energy the whole time. So Do you think he of beats off? They would have in the underground or uh, facilities are, in fact, silent. So this is the first I mean, point when Michael tells me, hey, you were in an extraterrestrial He's place. obviously horned up. He strikes me as a guy who would probably try to be no fap. But I just, I genuinely question whether or not his penis works. I'm kind of with you on that. I'm not entirely sure he could make it happen even if he wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I don't know if he can get hard. Also, he would think the Alliance was watching him watch porn on his <laughs> I mean, I have to assume he's probably probably <laughs> not just for the sake that he thinks it would be blackmail. Yeah, yeah. And you had extensive experience with it. And That's his favorite this porn category, too. I was going to say, and remember, he has to keep up the charade that he's not gay. They end yeah. up going to a resort where all these teens are partying. It's a beautiful He watches hotel. gay porn like the Alex Jones smokes weed. He's just seeing how strong George Soros <laughs> makes it. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, we're now on I was just board. checking. I've still got an hour left. This is phenomenal. I'm oh, my God. Ahead. How do you have an hour left, though? Oh, it's not an hour. It's an hour and a half. all people that were scared of the demon pole, and they all came back. Thank you, guys. Okay, so here we go. He's going to have to run out of material drive. soon. We're already, so, at, I mean, reaching the point where you're reading stories you wrote when you were 16 is... Just like, how many weeks can he keep this up? 
Here we go at the top. As of the many it as he needs. <laughs> <and> <laughs> his dad. With his thumb. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. It looks like he's slowing down. The pickup rolled. The pickup pulled beside God, him, damn it. crushing rock salt and asphalt. The driver was in his middle age, wearing tinted <laughs> a red flannel shirt, Oshkosh overalls, and a John Deere hat. This is all, you know, pretty typical Stephen King type of writing, where you, you're going to describe. Please you know, stop what preparing yourself like to him. To. So, yeah, you know, um, I was, yeah, I was kind of just pretty much like the greatest <laughs> writer <laughs> in American history. You know, I, I really liked his thing there, where he's like the Stephen King thing, where you describe the character you're yeah. writing about. It's like, oh, Stephen King came up with describing a character. Yeah, you know those details, you know, like Stephen King does. <laughs> I'm just like him. Thought to himself, Colin did. The man rolled down his passenger window. You folks looking for a ride? The man asked. The pickup. Huh. Uh, Ask grass sure are, or cash. <laughs> no one rides for fee. My name's Clyde. What's yours? I'm Colin, and this is Debbie, he said, as the truck's door... You're not doing his voice right. Right away, <laughs> Colin noticed how smooth the ride was. Oh, no. He had never felt suspension that could handle these roads so well before. His thoughts became a question. You know, this is an awfully nice truck, Clyde. Can I, I suck your dick? <laughs> oh, I don't know, Clyde said. <laughs> I promise I'm not getting it. Happy, bouncing all over for all after, really you ever had a Paul straight Jordan guy said, suck your dick? <laughs> going, he Debbie was quick to speak up. We're going to a large hotel. He's going to pull a gun on the truck, truck driver and <laughs> suck his dick at gunpoint. <laughs> you don't have a choice in this. Don't fucking move. We can do this the easy way. I blow my load or you blow yours. It's up to you, buddy. Somebody gets picked up like this, it's bad. The man's face showed a moment of glee and surprise. Uh-oh, that's not good. sure he did. And then just as suddenly, his face was again serious. Oh, I know that place, he said, smiling. It's right around here. Seems a lot of folks your age have been going there. We'll pass in front of it in just another mile or so. They call it a glory hole. Find all my friends. <laughs> Random yeah, fellas really show up and put their dick in it, and someone on the other line? side yeah, sucks them off. Well, now, whether it's a girl or a man, we'll never <laughs> know. It's the darndest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. Some sort of homosexual yeah, superposition. Right. <laughs> You're both gay and not gay. Oh, they'll be quite thrilled to have you. That's good to know. Uh, yeah, they'll be thrilled. Well, it's right on up ahead, Clyde. Just go ahead and put your mouth up I'm to sure the hole. <laughs> a real nice time. It's a great place for kids your age. Why? Yeah, he doesn't explain why the other characters are hillbilly. No, no, there's no explanation. Vast, architecturally stunning building set in it's one of those details Stephen King would have wrote about. Does <laughs> <laughs> that explain why all three characters have a different accent? <laughs> yeah, this is where the story starts to get more interesting because oh, oh, okay. I knew exactly what the hotel looked like in my dream because I woke up from this amazing three-hour dream. I mean, most Ryan hotels kind of look the same. And your yeah, it's a pretty balls, general so setup. To you. Caroline Maja said, I regret not having saved my drawings from childhood. I have just a few that are telling and symbolic as well. Uh, are they about gay <laughs> sex? <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's entire <laughs> audience. That's the only thing anyone drawing. <laughs> <laughs> causing Rex crossing the Lake Fort Worth Bridge, and it freaked me out. The one and only Sky Trans Girl says, I'm a long-term fan. Trans Girl. Uh, oops, where did it go? Oops. Uh, he he really doesn't know he can read that. the donation the tab. Says, no, he doesn't. Since I was 15, and then a dark entity come and tried to abduct me, came and tried to abduct me, but my guide stopped him. Yeah, you got to be <laughs> careful dwelling on this stuff. Milkman just donated. Yeah, Pay your soul on a mission to save If the you earth. read Stephen King, a demon will get you. Yeah. Chat on a live stream, it says. Uh, this is a thinly veiled reference to Domino's pizza advertising campaigns. <laughs> Of the 1990s. I don't know about that. What? I, I, maybe, maybe. No, I that's by that. dumb. <laughs> anyway, building, That'd be silly. Dream, it's about aliens. <laughs> you know who else comes in 30 minutes or less? <laughs> 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 uh, they called my ass Domino's. <laughs> yeah, one of those little <laughs> thing they put on the car was on top of his ass. I was up on the mountain. I was very, very tripped out, and I freaked out. Just like little Caesars, I'm hot and ready. Remarkably similar. The only difference was uh, that for $5.99, you can taste it. it. You can stuff my crust. <laughs> so this is Mohawk, a beautiful place. I was so away, I'm so sorry to everyone listening. <laughs> we, we've gone loopy. Uh, could you stop uh, doing <laughs> gay sex <laughs> jokes? No. 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 But we're not gay. Okay, not gay. We're, we're just going to talk about gay sex <laughs> for 90 <laughs> minutes. So that makes it all good. Oh, my God. So anyway, this is exactly what the hotel looked like in my dream. A footpath led up oh toward no, the hotel, bottom. about halfway down, <laughs> the huge crater lake hole off the left, which here is the lake. It was at least 75 feet wide, and steam was coming up out of the bottom. I hope Some next week reason. David learns all the gay parlance. I don't know. No, I think he knows. He just has to pretend so he does. And then he just goes and looks and finds the words top and bottom in all of his writings. The signs were there all along. Just finds new intricate ways to discover gay clues in all of his work. 
He dismisses the disturbing thought as unimportant. And again, I'm saying that this is actually suggesting that he's not on Earth at all. That uh -huh. they thought they were in a bus, but the bus apparently was a ship of some kind that took them off bus. planet. <laughs> <laughs> this is an off planet hotel. I mean, the dream uh, um, is on Earth, but it's it's some type of hotel where there's an underground. He can't possibly the believe this is entertaining. Level underground he just can't. I think hotel. he's too gone to be even thinking about that. that. I mean, I guess if it entertains him, house, that's true. Wall. It's some type of very strange extraterrestrial location. He also he does love his own writing. So uh, yeah, to him this is probably awesome. Debbie tagged along beside him. As they got closer, they could see there was a lot Just of... Just reminds him of how inside. sick he's been. They were behind the big windows. <laughs> they were very impressed with the size and the construction of the hotel. It was a feat of architecture that truly we're, amazed them, just like but, I showed you. The, the story to this point is just a guy and a girl who fucked in the bathroom, but he cut that part out. God forbid it get interesting yeah. for 30 seconds. They got in a truck with the trucker, and he drove them to a hotel. Yeah. We have spent 20 minutes on that. So uh, it, had a biz it had bizarre angles and looked like a modern art designer had drawn up the blueprints. They came to what seemed to be the front door, and Colin knocked loudly. Um. Right away, someone danced over the door and opened it. They were overwhelmed by a marijuana smell as they stepped inside. Oh, Again, no, no. They were drugged out in this hotel, so you're mm. all, everybody's a slave. Oh, nice, Actually, man. Lots of very interesting matrix oriented content in the drug shows up hotel. in the things you're going to see. It's really remarkable. Just to the left, a man was dancing and holding a lit joint in his hand. It smelled sweet and very strong. It was easy to get lost. People danced around them, and it was all very disorienting. Colin There's gay sex, sex everywhere. I think I just saw my friend. Why don't you meet me back here sometime later? That's another thing you never want to do in a horror movie. They always say, hey, let's split up. Let's split up. <laughs> Actually, the number one ah, thing no, you don't want to do is be black. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the most dangerous thing. Yeah, or you're going to die now, first. Never see you again. And Debbie doesn't show up again until the very end of the dream. But they'd already been sexually. She was busy doing really Dallas. <laughs> and they end up getting together at the end of the story. So that's a very nice happening. Oh, they oh, fuck well, again? Okay. That could be an, a double entendre, but we're not going there. Yeah, God yeah, forbid yeah. you make a sex joke place. now. Yeah, let's not get sexual. That's yeah. crude. Just talk yeah, about jizz on everyone's <laughs> face for two <laughs> hours. <laughs> no, I don't want to get disgusting. Well, it's not even hyperbole either. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Can you set up a Venmo account so you don't lose 30% on Super Chats? Well, the Super Chat gives me this nice feed here. And, you know, I don't really mind, you know, sharing some of the money. I mean, it's just a typical type of thing so not a big deal but yeah i no there is a paypal <laughs> button on cosmos.com that still works oh there is a paypal button and I, I bet that is the account that got frozen that we talked about maybe yeah in i the mean last episode so that would make now. more sense on the upper floor he walked down a long corridor tried all the doorknobs he became frustrated and in his mind he wished for an open door so he could stash his backpack somewhere just as he was thinking how he wanted an open door a handle gave in to the turn of his wrist Mm -hmm. Door opened, another teenage young man was inside. So this is the first clue that I give you <laughs> that he's in something uh -huh. like the Matrix. That when All you right. want there to be a door, the facility manifested a door right in front of him that he could get into. He's walking into the hotel room of a teenage boy. He about is going to be created in this place. It's a thought-responsive environment. Very Which means he thought of the teenage boy. So he, he opens up the door. There's another teenage young man inside. What happened to him? Colin says, hey, I didn't huh? interrupt you or nothing. Ross Feinstein just donated. Thank you. But do you know where I could put this? He grimaced as he lifted up he the weight. He pointed at his shoulder. dick. <laughs> sure, man, you can put it up here. Joe Boner. You know where I could put this? By the way, my name's Paul. I'm Jake, the brown-haired guy replied. So, do you like it here or what? Yeah, it's actually. So, are you gay? <laughs> yeah, all that shit, Jake said. Keeps it interesting, huh. you know? You gotta have fun somehow, right? So, this is kind of like Stephen King type of dialogue I was writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, just like Stephen King. Just, it's <laughs> just like the stand. <laughs> <laughs> you think you can show me around here? Oh, what a uh, God, he's just, he's I'm gone partial. so insane. Partial. Well, you know, some areas are restricted, off limits to guys like you and me. Ah, now the story's getting more interesting, isn't it? No, <laughs> not, <laughs> not <laughs> really, no. I'm not sure, Jake said. I guess they just oh, don't he want to Oh, he censored fucking. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a good idea, but shit, it sucks for us. No, nah, that ain't too bad, Jake said. The areas that we can use are enormous. There's more than enough space for everybody. And again, this is all going to turn into a big alien base. The restricted areas have aliens in it. Right, 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 right. It's probably all stuff that really happened to me at one point in a parallel lifetime. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where the story yeah, is, is very, all true. very bizarre. God, page, object, 44 page 44 of 100. <laughs> oh, Michael Holma has to go to sleep. We're sorry to lose you, buddy. Hi, Dave. I love <laughs> no, no, your, your content is putting him to sleep. Yeah, no, he's <laughs> passing out. I know Michael will be back in the morning to hear the rest of the story. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. All right, so the strange object that has the teens under control in my original write-up, which I have the somewhere, I'll figure out later. <laughs> uh, that's what he story. meant to put. So this is some yeah, type it's of just a curved dildo on the end of the site. Yeah. <laughs> Hooded cloak. Uh, cool, he said. Let's go check it out. Okay, let's go, Jake said. Standing Swing up in the <laughs> Entered into the hall. Give me your ass. <laughs> They're nice rooms, Colin implied. Just then, the strangest thing happened. 
He'd been looking at a door out of the corner of his eye as they were walking past it. At one point, the door became transparent, and he saw several people seated in a ring around a strange object. Wait a second, he shouted. He buckled, he backed up, mm -hmm. placing his head back in line with the sight. Sure enough, with a shimmer, he was able to see through the door again. Let's go see who's in here, Colin said. Slowly, he walked towards the door, maintaining his view of he's the He's trying to bore closer. us to death. Of some sort in the center he really, of the he's doing Unlike something. Anything he had seen before. Now, in some of my original dream write-ups, the machine is a sphere, and the sphere was levitating off of the ground, and it was slightly glowing. I don't know if I included that in this write-up or not, but that's what it looked like in the original dream. Some type of very strange alien technology. The infinite process says hunger game, the very fact that you need to eat. The Pope is still trying to be relevant. The what? Reaper represents a harvest of souls. <laughs> His audience Somebody is as no stupid sound, as he is. Sound. Yeah. <laughs> well, they keep listening to this. Four to six April writer says, a large underground room full of fire, many tormented souls, whoever I am with tells me it's important, are thrown within the fire. It was so scary, I woke up screaming. Mary Ellen S. says, is there a point to this? <laughs> says, I don't get what you're... Mary Ellen, thank you. Ah, oh, way to go. for that statement. Is there a point to this? Every so often, someone just comments something that, like, realigns <laughs> me. It grounds, something like that grounds me, because sometimes I start to think, like, maybe I'm just really fucking dumb, and yeah. I don't get the point of this. Maybe but... I've lost it. Yeah, but no, no. No, there's, no. There's no point to this. You're reading this for as I missed the beginning. Okay. <laughs> this is... If, if you didn't watch the whole show, then I'm talking about the fact that we had... You missed all the gay rape. ...of UFO abduction <laughs> from Taken Off Planet, and then Archangel Michael tells me that you really did have this happen. You, okay. you were killed, you were abused. So I'm reading a short story from when I was 16 years old. Okay, that so that, so to, to re reset here, what we got going on, these stories, which were just stories when he wrote them, he had no mm -hmm. belief that they were real. He's right. Now since, as a 51-year-old man... The angel in his head yeah. told them that this all really happened, which means yeah. he now has to convey these stories to all of us. It sounds like it's what a an very idiot. accurate depiction of what might have been a real place that I went in this parallel lifetime, abducted by UFOs, brought into a hotel, used for the purpose of controlling teenagers' minds and getting them to fight wars for them. <laughs> we were all slaves inside this weird AI. Yeah, facility. that sounds about right. So yeah, that, that's that's, that's really probably true. So there was a machine of some sort in the center. I said it was a levitating sphere, unlike anything he'd seen before. He reached his hand out and found he could push through the door. How the F did they do this, he asked. I've never seen a door like this before. And so apparently it was built by the Japanese. That's just oh, a logical <laughs> overwrite as a, as a fiction writer. Uh -huh. I guess the Japanese who built this place had some pretty decent hologram technology, Jake said. They can do a lot these days. Let's go inside, man. I'm curious as hell. Well, I don't. Come on, man. I'm just going to go in there. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no. He walked through the image. Of wow, the that's just like I've Stephen King like would do it. <laughs> it's not going to go well. As soon as he entered, he felt like his whole body was engulfed in static electricity. Now, this is another strange thing, folks, because, again, people are like, why are you reading this, man? Well, yeah, yeah we are. Actual, accurate memories of parallel lifetime experiences. Oh, oh, no. because it's UFO real. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Off planet, excuse me. The moment I left, and the only way you can remember it is in a dream. And this is a write-up of a dream I had that lasted three hours on a Saturday. How would you know it lasted three hours? Now, what's so fascinating about Or that it was on a Saturday. Is that it's totally a description <laughs> of what happens Friday when you travel through a portal. Everybody who's ever been through a portal says it feels like a full-body static electric shock. And this is exactly what I've never describes. heard someone say that. Everybody does. Like his whole body was in <laughs> Every <the> single <laughs> one. His hair began to Everyone, stand up everyone and says it. In his ears. He could detect a rather strong smell of ozone. His skin crackled and tingled. Inside, eight people were seated around a strange machine. The buzzing noise seemed to be coming from the machine. Everyone had their eyes closed. It was Bert Kreischer. <laughs> one of them. Suddenly, a strange, raspy voice. And then Bert fucked my ass. In the hooded cloak, spoke to him. I wouldn't do that. Uh, him and him well, the Russian mob ran a train on my corner, ass. Tom Segura watched in the corner. <laughs> seated in the corner was a short, seedy-looking man. Oh. Bald. He was, <laughs> Wait a second. All head, right. Contained several white, bulbous, round objects. Uh oh, those are mushrooms. Oh, not, oh, Colin? they're not his Why balls. They're meditating together. The man replied. Together, why would you want to meditate with other people? Well, you Gay. see, they're really here. Their physical bodies are here, but their minds are in a different place. They are all simultaneously experiencing the same thing together. So this is another one of these oddities, right? I mean, this is the Matrix. They're jacked into a Matrix. Yeah, they're the jacked in, all right. didn't come out until 1999. And I jacked into your Matrix. In <laughs> it's really, really interesting. <laughs> so they're all simultaneously experiencing the same thing. Their minds are. I want to get one of those little bird reality. devices that like drinks the water and pops <laughs> its head and just put <laughs> it on the <laughs> button. <laughs> well, it all starts and just with walk this, off for ninety <laughs> minutes while the bird hits the button. Closer to his face for inspection. And another thing that was important in the original dream write-up is that the, they all looked like eyes. They were white and they were round. 
And so the oh, is that important? Of course, has to mm, do with very important. Cannibalism and what these kinds of people are doing. That's how everyone fact, describes them. Of them. course. I don't know if this ever happened to me or not. I have no idea, but I at least knew about it. Well, wait a second. Uh, uh, yeah, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just said all this really happens. So yeah, not... you literally said that's the whole point we're doing this. You can't pick and choose what part of your real story really happened. Present is, is this adreno you know what. These are a special kind of psychoactive mushrooms that only grow right around here. You take a few of these, and now you'll be able to do the same thing. Uh-oh. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. People. When he looked closely and felt the air around him, he noticed they were vibrating rather rapidly at that. He turned back to the man. So these shrooms are really going to trip you out, huh? Yeah, they sure will, the man replied. But how can they all be tripping on the same thing? Well, you see that queer-looking machine in the middle? <laughs> queer? <laughs> That's my ass. <laughs> one synchronized collective intelligence. Any the thoughts queer by one machine person? in the middle. <laughs> Now, I think it's entirely possible that this is one of the technologies that I had because one of the memories that I do seem to have is being with a team of kids who were used for psychic assassinations and we all had to synchronize our thoughts. Oh, I, I forgot they about did this. Give us drugs and they did have us use a synchronizer. So I think now, exactly I do want to wow. point out that is also a Stephen King book. That is the plot of a Stephen King book. Yeah, it's almost like he read the book. Yeah. Thoughts. I had no idea they made machines like that, Colin said. How is it possible? <laughs> well, you see, these mushrooms give knowledge, the man replied. When you work for the hotel, you help out by using your knowledge to build something. Just, That's just why you'll like see a lot Stephen of stuff here King. that you won't see anyway yep. else. As you see, there are some very unique things here. So again, this is kind of what they want you to do in a secret space program. They want you to be creative. Even back then, he was stealing other people's what work. Else could there <laughs> yeah. be? Boy, there's sure a lot. Don't worry, Ezra. Yes, you're not the first. Games. No. Shit, yeah. I'm awesome at playing video games. I've mastered more Nintendo games than I could count on my hands and feet. Well, you will be awestruck by the arcade we have. It's by far the best in the world, and it becomes like the Matrix again. Virtual reality. Uh -huh. Really? I'd love to see that. Can you take me there? I don't know where anything is around here. Sure I can, the man replied. Let's go. Probably not a good idea. He got to skip to this part. No, 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 this is very important. <laughs> Just someone uh, showing him around the, the facility. The inside, he could see out into the hallway. As soon as he stepped out, the image of the door came back. As he began to walk with the man, a nagging, disturbing thought came into his mind. Mm -hmm. He's going to rape me. <laughs> no one in the corner, only the eight people in the center. The man not again. Here after, uh, tried to the trucker the already did it. He <laughs> was hiding in the shadows, Colin thought to himself. But it still bothered him. There was a lot of strange things going on. His friend Jake had apparently left him there, for now Jake is nowhere in sight, so he walks onward with the man. You're really going to dig this arcade, the man said. No doubt, Colin. No said, doubt. Really <laughs> intense thoughts that have been surging through his mind. Remember, I'm 16 when I wrote this. It came up to an it, elevator. It Colin reads like it. Yeah, we can tell. Him. It seemed like there had been strange-looking curvy symbols on the side of the elevator. Those with penises. <laughs> he couldn't really believe that he had seen them change shape, but as he approached, there was a strange shimmering, and the red symbols became numbers. The strange thing was that they were by no means in numerical order. The man walked up and pressed a few buttons. No, it seemed he actually never touched them. He just placed his finger in front of them, at least a centimeter away wow. from the surface. Now, all this stuff is, is actually consistent with what insiders have told me. Touch pads that you don't have to touch. Mm. They respond to the touch. Well, they're, they're not touch pads. Yeah, yeah. And those are just <laughs> iPhones. <laughs> and then as you're going to see, another very common... We kind of have those already. Yeah, we do. Is, it's a cylindrical, round, huge elevator, and you go down for a really long time into a deep underground military base. Uh -huh. That's something that insiders told me based on their real-life testimony, what they yeah. experienced. Well, and only a guy who's really sports. been in the space military would know about true. elevators. Yeah, no one else would have figured that look. tech oh, out. No one's ever gone underground. The button sends your body's electrical field when you get close enough to them. It lowers the amount of fingerprints, you know? I guess so, Colin replied. It was a strange elevator. The door slid open in opposite directions, but the elevator was a large <laughs> cylinder inside, far from a normal rectangular design. Again, Multiple insiders have always told me about the round elevator. Very common. Here it is in my story when I'm 16. Incredible. He inside. The doors slid Miraculous. Open. Colin felt nothing, heard nothing, and expected nothing. But before he hardly had time to notice, the doors opened, and he saw new surroundings different from where he had been. We're almost there, the man replied. Come on. He left the elevator, and Colin followed. Come so one of the on. things that I heard actually from Bob Dean, the insider, he told me about the portal effect. That's the sausage? <laughs> yeah, wait, what? And he said that a lot of times these cylindrical elevators... The dude who made, makes breakfast sausage? So you might go somewhere in an elevator, but... Did he really fuck you too? <laughs> he did. did he put his breakfast sausage exactly in your biscuit? Thing. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's what he sells in the market. <laughs> so this is very Phallic symbols. <laughs> walked up to a large round room. There were about 20 arcade games evenly spaced around the perimeter of the circle. They resembled the games he saw in arcades. I need some 80-20 penis, please. <laughs> I like it a little more lean than most. Others looked like robotic animals, and others resembled large robotic vegetables. There was broccoli. Robotic vegetables. I think this is also true. I think that I was put through simulators, and they make you yeah, yeah, simulators. Yeah, yeah, sure. There's robot apples. Whether you pick the dog or the cat or the apple or the pear or the broccoli, they're already starting to psychologically profile you, and whatever happens in those virtual reality simulations is going to be oh yeah 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 of course that's that's just common sense yeah everyone knows that. Uh, this kind of stuff is very interesting. 
because it suggests <laughs> that virtual reality was used and the whistleblower Savali, which I have yeah, her stuff in my book, says, does. yeah, you know what? We had advanced virtual reality in the 1980s, far ahead of anything people would think was real. It was alien technology. She didn't say that, but that's probably what it was. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. That's yeah, probably what it was. So you just added you know, that part in. Reality, yeah, okay. No way you can tell that it's not real. So uh, this ends up in this in, in my story. It's a battle simulator, and I think this is real. So again, you know, if you're bored by this, oh, why am I hearing David's story? Well, first of all, it's pretty remarkable for a 16 year old to write all this. <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, well, fuck you. I I'm place. pretty cool. I escape. Call an is this what a gay 16 year old would write? <laughs> Shaped like this before. Where did this come from? We built them, the man said. They were specifically invented to be used with our sacrament of consciousness. Uh oh, the eyeball shaped mushrooms. Used with what? What are you talking about? The sacrament of consciousness is the mushroom that we have growing out at the crater, which is actually where a UFO landed. I told you about it before. Those people who you saw meditating were using it to expand their minds. The machine took them on a journey of the mind. The mushrooms facilitated the trip. Let's get up wow, the that's deep. So this is just Brave New World, but with mushrooms. Wow, this must be some powerful psychedelics, Colin said. Not really, the man replied. They become what you make of them. Whatever you want to feel is what you actually feel. Okay, so I cut this because <laughs> we now go into a long, weird section, a couple pages long, where the man is trying to coerce uh, Colin to use drugs. Uh oh, I don't oh so he can have <laughs> sex with <laughs> him. Can, Precisely. It's not going to be that bad, and that's actually not true. As soon as Colin takes it, he has a very bad experience. So Yeah, he gets raped. <laughs> gave me some type of psychedelic drug. I don't know what kind. I could speculate. They all have their way with me. And then after you have the psychedelic drug, you can work with these consciousness interface machines, which is something that I've heard others talk about. So I'm actually doing this in the dream. Yeah. And then it goes into a virtual reality simulation of battle. Baybet Wallace donated. Thank you, Baybet. The Babette. So this is now part two, beginning on page 63. Some of the conclusion you're going to read here was featured in my book, Ascension Mysteries. If it sounds familiar, that's why. Oh. And it appears to ultimately represent so he, my he character. So he really did include this in his Lucifer's fucking house. books. Now, this is actually the cover <laughs> of the notebook that I used. It says break. Nice, dude. Oh, I thought he drew that for a second. That's actually pretty notebook. cool. <laughs> holograms were a big deal back then. We were all excited. Front cover design, hologram, copyright 1985. So, again, that Why? shows you accurate dating for the notebook. I'd had it lying around for five years. I was desperate for something to write in. I had no money, so I just used this silly breakdancing notebook to finish my story. And now it's all part of the allure of what happened here. Yeah, yeah, that really it. makes it better okay, for so me. Okay, so now <laughs> he's been coerced, and he ends up eating the mushrooms, which, again, I do not recommend taking any drugs. Uh, the mushrooms. What about the, the weed you've been smoking? Drugs. Yeah, hold on now. Donations coming in. Jane Batten donated twenty dollars. Thank you, Jane. Really appreciate that. The mushrooms gave in to the cutting force of Colin's jaws. They were dry, chewy, and they tasted like a dirty sock. Oh, I've never experienced any of this. He chewed quickly, trying what? to swallow them in a hurry. It reminded him of when he was younger, and he'd be forced to eat boiled turnips for Thanksgiving. He wolfed the mushrooms down with the same amount of disgust that he'd had with the turnips. Don't forget to pick your teeth, the man said. Colin stuck his index finger in his mouth and pulled big pieces of mushroom off of his molars. He swallowed them readily. Without warning, a very strange feeling began to overtake him. Of course, in reality, oh, no. you've got to wait like at least 15 minutes before things start to get strange. It's a bit longer than that. Instantaneous effect, which again shows it's a very different drug, not what I was really talking about. Yeah, totally not mushrooms. just mushrooms. Yeah, no, very different. A very strange feeling began to See, overtake these him. drugs, you can, you can eat and you feel it immediately. Yeah. Was a deeper one. Real mushrooms, you got to wait 10, 15 minutes. minutes. Yeah, who, can, who has that type of time? It's completely different. He had been looking at the same spot for a while, and it seemed he was actually seeing with his mind's eye. One minute, the images in the room would become swimmy, like he was seeing them through water. Objects would shimmer, and jet black outlines of straight-edged objects would now become fuzzy. He was overtly concerned with this shaky feeling of nervousness. It felt like his whole body was trembling, shaking, or vibrating very rapidly, just like the kids around the synchronizer. He turned his head, and the image of the room turned a little bit slower than his head did. As the image of the room turned, the shapes would drag out, leaving a fading after image in the place of where they'd been. This is trails. Thus, if he turned... Uh, oh, here's uh, some comments. Let me kind of oh grab my God. <laughs> I had to recur. Simon Powell said I also had recurring nightmares. Of that guy's name pops up a lot in these. these dreams have plagued me. He's a big fan. Sense of them to this day. Well, be glad you don't remember anything else. I guess I would say. <laughs> Entway says pot is harder to quit than heroin. Now, actually, research this. That's not true. Heroin is considered 99% <laughs> addictive. Marijuana is considered 30% addictive. Based what? Where are stuff. those numbers yeah, coming? That number is complete Carry bullshit. You won't get doped ever again. Lightspeed says my third eye is stronger than any drugs on this earth. Yeah, what that's about what your brown eye. eye. That's what David needs as a gun. I meant I know how I psyop your average person is. It's like AI is watching us constantly using your neighbors. That's Curzon Cax. Yeah, and your neighbors are, DMT, are artificial like intelligence spying on you. Yeah, that seems weekend. right. Yeah, I'm too scared to do DMT. I would never do it. What a pussy. Uh, yeah, pussy. So anyway, let's keep going. I don't remember any more so, gay <laughs> rape. <laughs> The shapes were dragging. This is the trail effect. I've had my fill. Thus, you would he think he'd up, want he to, because like you can get back to he this place. Motion that lifted him up by his back He's afraid of being molested again. I guess. Happening. It could have caused a sensation. He still felt it. I suppose I'd have paused too if that had been my experience. Yeah. Everything around him. It was like the visual center of his mind was partially shut off. 
He desperately tried to concentrate and find the man. He called out to him and was astonished to hear the sound his own voice was making. It was like he heard his voice through a tunnel with his physical body speaking at one end and his spiritual body listening at the other. This is a common effect, perceptual distortion on these types of substances. In a shimmering echo, he heard the words, what the F is happening to me? He felt pressure on both sides of his face and suddenly... <laughs> him the censoring the word fuck on the notebook is so funny to me. Yeah, after talking about just anal sex and getting his face jizzed on. <laughs> this is probably Lucifer. This is probably the soul of Lucifer before it projects into human form. And yeah, probably. Yeah. And trying to trick me. I think that's what we're seeing here. After a degree of concentration... Oh, of part, I get, he's not gay. The, the, the devil tricked the him. Oh, that's what happens. He, you all right, hate buddy? when that happens. <laughs> Everything is so effed up, he said. Hate when I get There's tricked by the devil and the gay <laughs> sex. <laughs> that pesky devil. Ever ah. since the Garden of Eden. Yeah, he keeps trying to fool me into giving up my butt. <laughs> What's happening? That was what was on the tree. <laughs> <laughs> the tree of knowledge. You're doing fine, the distant voice replied. Well, the knowledge was <laughs> anal <laughs> sex. Yeah. It, it was just a bunch of those fuck my fine. big black ass toys that we did that one time. He had never felt speech like this before. He felt the contractions of every muscle involved in speaking, the face, cheeks, lips, tongue, and throat. He could feel a huge nose in his teeth, <laughs> and suddenly he was confronted with a very strange idea that part of the body's skeleton was exposed to the air. He'd never really thought about it before. Just the thought of externalized bone fascinated oh, him. Oh, no. And this was an experience I had at one point on, um, you know, this kind of stuff. You can't say you were he on shrooms? He barely the question that the other logical half of his brain had formulated no. and begun to execute. That'd make All him seem silly. Yeah, that's movements. too crude. The strange voice that was once his asked. The reply sounded like it was shouted to him across a football field. He felt like he was falling. Just picture good things in your mind, the voice said. <laughs> it sounded nervous. Great Don't voice acting. Nice. You can, let any emotion have feel that you can feel any emotion you like, and it will be amplified. Suddenly, he felt very, very hungry, like a spike was being twisted into the walls of his stomach. He suddenly saw in his mind that he wanted food, and he pictured himself eating. He felt a strange, tingly, electrostatic feeling of rapid vibrations. Wow. And suddenly, there was an apple in his hand. Whoa. Whoa. He's in a thought-responsive environment. So this is actually, probably, my dream is showing us a vision of what fourth density is going to be like. I... You have this feeling of tingling, <laughs> this electrical buzzing, the high vibration. Is it? And if you want something, it literally just manifests for you. He just thinks his, his so story again, describes something that doesn't stuff. exist. My friends yeah, it does. Oh my God, you're a genius. <laughs> this is like J.R.R. Tolkien. It's really amazing. Yeah, <laughs> man, you're basically <laughs> Tolkien. After all, maybe this did happen. Yeah, they weren't fucking with you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. His brain that he was not thinking with formulated and asked its own question. It sounded wavy, like he was talking into a fan. Just comparing How himself to Apple two of the most popular yeah. authors yeah. of all time. Stephen King and J.R.R. Tolkin. Yeah, my work at 16 was about as good as yeah. theirs. I was already better than them, actually. Which, by the way, is hilarious if you read any of his books. Uh, which fucking years. suck. Colin was dumbfounded. He looked around at the different games. I'm ready. Let's play. The alien voice did the speaking for him once again. Excellent, the man replied. Choose which adventure suits you best. The man led him around to look at the screens of different games. He saw several that looked fairly neat. But his attention was really grabbed by one particular game. It was a form of field combat mm -hmm. involving robotic warriors that resembled the Transformers he had bought as a child. They shot wild beams and weapons at each other, and all the action took place in a superbly detailed forest. This is the one, the voice spoke. So let's just... He keeps only on doing the voice here. for uh, part of the quotes. Yeah. What we're seeing here is that I was using a battle mech droid. I think that you would avatar into the robot and control the movements of the robot. If the robot gets Sick. killed, you don't get killed. But what was very strange about this is that it's AI. So I just wonder robot, what would happen to him if we could get him like 3,000 milligrams of Seroquel. So I to mean, do he'd calm down for a minute. Like, I, I just, and, I wonder if all so these things really would disappear games, if he, he got hit in the ass right, with some Thorazine. I mean, something is driving him again, this crazy. That in this secret space program, <laughs> that this exact thing is happening, that they, they zip you into a matrix, you experience perceptually living in the robot, and you can fight as the robot. Yeah. Good, said the man. Grab the controls. Make sure you make contact at all times with the metal on the triggers and the joysticks and get ready for the ride of your life. So this, the metallic contact is how he stays in the Matrix. And again, even if you're hating on this, I, I know everybody's pretty fascinated. I'm looking at the comments. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, no, um, everybody's Skywalker super fascinated. Says, After being a patient, yeah. I know everyone Sally loves hospital, this. I had horrendous K-dreams for a full year. Now I have vague memories, including a hospital room with two ETs where one said we need to get his permission. You were in a People psychiatric a hospital. Yeah, yeah, I hate to tell you this. Uh, Colin and Uncle Jack should be a comedy duo. So anyway, here we go. Um, we're going to keep on going. So you, you make contact. Yeah, don't let that stop matrix. you. All let's right, see let's what go, this Colin. chat is Grabbing saying as he goes through this. Coppery electrical taste in his mouth. This, again, is very similar to what happens in the Matrix when he gets jacked in. <laughs> and everything comes through his mouth. It's, it's, it's <laughs> Please hot. bring out the cigs. <laughs> so maybe the Matrix is based on stuff that's real. And that's why it's I just saw everyone it saying hi to him. 
Well, that's nice. His skin crackled <laughs> with the sharp odor of static electricity, again suggesting of portal travel. He broke out in an instantaneous cold sweat. Suddenly, the room he was in disappeared, and he was in a new world, the world of the video game. It was as shockingly realistic as any of his worst nightmares. He could feel sweat dripping down his face. Ooh, aspirin causes a reduction in feelings. Him, wow. Feel yeah, yeah, we all know about that. Yeah. Huge level one appeared in burning red letters in the sky in front of him. Without warning, other robots appeared and began coming towards him. <laughs> he realized his arms and legs were integrated with the robots. Anything he moved, the robot moved. There was a sight that floated at the No one needs to be told to, scared, told to shut the, the fuck up more than David. Trigger. Something. Just, just like a, a target, needs to get told to something. Can I buy... Wherever his eye maybe I'll get a singing telegram to go to his, <laughs> his cabin. And it would fire where the sight is, and it would work very well. So he stared at the first robot and pulled the trigger. The robot exploded tremendously. More came from behind it. This is going to be it, like it's two, two, two straight weeks of him spending over an hour some sort of bomb shot just reading smoke, stuff he wrote as a child. Yeah, with no point. This doesn't mean anything. <laughs> no, this is completely <laughs> worthless. It's only meaningful to him. He killed everything it's like someone forcing you to listen to their fucking mixtape is what this is. Yeah. Came out and it flustered him to realize they needed David's outside the liquor store passing out. This Yo, this play, story. play me a beat. Let me freestyle real quick. <laughs> this time around, it got even harder. There were obnoxious robotic birds. Uh, trees I got raped <laughs> by a reptilian, <laughs> but I'm not gay. He felt a jolt. You can see I'm really into Nintendo. Virtual reality game, which probably is the oh, way they were doing this to get I can do to fight it. wars. Children, actually, because children were machines back. Spooky like music. Music. <laughs> oh, David's story. Shit, that was way too intense, the voice argued. It was a haggard voice full of exhaustion and paranoia. I don't think I can handle this. That's level the rape sound. It's too realistic. It's like a nightmare that you can't escape from. You had fun, didn't you? The man asked. Yeah, I guess so, but that's just too much. I don't want to try it again. Rape my ass. Everybody's a little scared at first. <laughs> oh, replied, rape well, my ass. Shot at is not my thing, Colin said. Let's go see a different part of the hotel. They walked out of the arcade and back to the elevator. Can you take me to the main lobby where everybody's dancing? I left this girl, Debbie, over there, and I need to talk to her. I guess so, the man replied. Again, he pressed buttons without... 90% of the story has just been mundane dialogue about getting directions. Yeah, it's just been, hey, hey, you there. Can you help me do this thing? Oh, that thing? I can surely help you do that thing. Oh, yeah, come with me and we'll do that thing. run like hell to get out of there. He squirmed his way through the crowd to the front. To his dismay, he could I wonder how much he'd cry if all these stories got God burned. It, right in this whole <laughs> oh, he'd be heartbroken. That may, that may be the Walk only way we can free him from this curse. Is yeah. Have to, these are like some sort of magic yeah, object that has stolen me. his mind There is horcruxes. They are, and they have to be destroyed in order to free David. Door in the corner. Thanks a lot, man, Colin said, struggling to hold reality together in his mind. No problem. See you around, the guy replied. He left, walking back towards the party. Colin walked up to the door. He reached out and grabbed the handle. He tried to turn it. And that is Suddenly, how you open. The door turned into another open wall. The door. Colin freaked out and began screaming. I've got to get out of here. He picked up a chair and threw it right into the wall where the door had been. The wall shattered like a plate glass window. Aha. Just it's like Stephen King. The wall and there's a glass. There's a glass <laughs> getting into the outside. So now he's finally escaping. Tolkien-esque, if I might say. He breaks out of the hotel. And then discovers that he can create himself as a battle mechanism. Just an insane and he person. Lucifer and destroys Lucifer. It's brilliantly written. I'm amazed. I'm <laughs> yeah. Amazed that I wrote this when I was 16. So brilliantly written, possible. dude. Everything that you're seeing is how I did break out of some type of Matrix AI hotel. Well, it wasn't really difficult to break out if all you had to do was punch the wall and it fell apart. <laughs> That's pretty fucking easy. It's almost impossible to escape, but somehow I did. I mean, it's not wall, impossible. It you like did it on the first window. try. Yeah, you actually <laughs> nailed it. Cold air rushed in from the outside. Suddenly, a huge nine-foot-tall robot appeared by the door. He was heavily <laughs> armored and equipped with menacing weapons. Show me your ass. Give me your ass. He broke into a sudden tearing run, hoping the robot wouldn't be able to catch him as he bolted past. He was right. He plunged into the outside. I don't know why he's doing this. Alert, no, alert, alert, alert. he's not even really making points. He's just no, reading it, be like, "Man, I can't believe I wrote that so good." I'm fucking, I'm the best. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fucking good at writing. He's not really correlating it to everything. He's like, "Damn, I'm so good." None, none of what we have heard ties into anything he's talked about. As Colin began to run along the side of the hole, except for the name Colin. Oh, we got Barbara Vadas. Bless you, David. She donated. Oh, Iwan Ab Guayam said, I did not mean any offense, brother. I meant Colin and Uncle Jack that you parodied with the cigarette. Yeah. I would probably be doing more comedy, but I'm really trying to get through all this in three hours, and I'm going to make it, but just barely. <laughs> well, you're <laughs> not, he unfortunately. No, unfortunately. 1892 says, he realizes that he changed into Hillary Clinton in a power suit just long enough to trick the guards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're all good. I, I don't take offense by anything that you guys say. And I'm Is just that happy so? You're here with me. <laughs> 
If you want to cut my hair, I guess I understand. You know, whatever. All right. What? I probably do need a haircut pretty soon, but I'm just having fun doing, living my life, you know? What? So here we I'm go. too afraid to go to the barber. <laughs> it hurts. It almost got me. <laughs> so as Colin began to run along the side of the hole in the Mohawk. I'm afraid they're all, they'll molest me. <laughs> inside the thick white soup. They were moving around in their own small compartments. put the barber pole in my hand. This thoroughly terrified Colin. He had just crossed the crater when he saw one of the dark shapes crawl out of this pussy substance. Ugh. Thick globs stuck to its body. Um. It was another war robot. <laughs> Colin was horrified to watch as scores of these robotic creatures climbed their way out of the crater. And again, this could be possibly the result of nanites. We now know there's a black goo. In my dream what? is white. But we've heard about black goo, black goo from multiple insiders. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. So now he's talking about the black goo. But All in his right. dream, it was white goo. It was white goo. Well, there's nothing funny about that. No, no, this no. Goo comes into this that big couldn't be anything. Lake, a dry lake, and then they all turn into eggs, and they hatch as robots. So that could be nanites and AI. <laughs> the cum turns into <laughs> eggs and then robots? And then yeah. Rapidly, the nanites turn into robots. That's what I think this is about. That was yeah. projecting all the microplastic in our balls. Oh, oh, I see. Now hot on his tail. He ran for all he was worth. Suddenly, an image snapped in his mind like a photograph about how he was able to create the apple when he got hungry. Suddenly, he realized what he had to do. He stopped running. He pictured a small, seven-foot-long spaceship, elaborate in design. One little brick appeared. It was gray, hovering in space. Then a brick swung out above it as if it was on a hinge. Isn't this very similar place. to the other story we did? The is the, very uh, rapidly, a spaceship the table read? Like a grandiose Lego yeah. Movie. Wasn't that it about him like manifesting inside. something with his mind so inside really, a spaceship? Really something, something like that, that yeah. Says. Law of One says that they make And that's how he beats the villain. Yeah. They talk about this a lot. That the crystal is grown out of thought. So they literally create their UFOs out of nothing. It's a thought form creation, and that's exactly what we're seeing. A spaceship clicked together. You'd break the, like the in case of emergency copy. So in this case, <laughs> it's probably bringing in the memories of what we will be able to do once this so-called fourth density activation fully occurs. Is it's it? fascinating. The tie-ins of secret space program, law of one, all this kind of stuff is in Is there. that what I we're supposed no to be getting out of this? Program. Is this is a tie-in to the secret the space program? Now, I guess. And the law of one? I guess, because it's in space. It was a computer on but that's kind of the gist of it is just, well, it's in space. Exactly is this hotel? But it's just the a hotel it is not in a space. Hotel, but the surface <laughs> it's a space a hotel. Shima Sacha, thank you for the donation, a voice said. They gave that's what the voice said, Shima Sacha, thank you for the donation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You must find the elevator, destroy the control panel, and ride it to the base of the entire complex. Then fight your way this isn't the even of the quality of like those choose-your-own-adventure books. No, no, no. with everyone else. So I don't know. I mean, it's possible that in order for me to escape whatever prison this I was in This is like a story you would see on a bubblegum like ramper. Somehow I might have gotten one of the battle droids. I might have stolen it. And I might have fought my way into where Lucifer was. And shot yeah, him. that sounds about so right. Yeah, so anyways, yeah. I, I got That's a robot cute. and I oh, fought the devil. <laughs> oh, I was in space, <laughs> too. Yeah, by the way, this is real. Yeah. Spaceship going through the hotel, as is expected. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. My therapist said this is good. <laughs> I'm not gay. Using his gun sight that was correlated with his line of vision, pressed the trigger on the control panel. In a flash of sparks, the panel was gone, the doors opened, and he jumped into the round cylinder just as it began falling. He fell so fast that he became momentarily stuck to the ceiling. He fell for what seemed like an irrationally long time. He wondered how large this complex must really be when suddenly he felt the speed decrease. He activated retro rockets just as the elevator slammed to the ground. It crunched up like a can and there was just enough time to let his ship out. He was staring into a workroom, vibrating people milled around, mindlessly performing tasks for the aliens as prisoners of the powerful uh -huh. these mushrooms. A bright red level one lit up in the sky in front of him, floating in letters of red fire. This is it, Colin said. Don't kill the people. I wonder how no many pages were cut out of all his books. First, it was quite easy. Because he just has no ability to trim the fat. His way through levels two, three, I mean, I'm four, sure five, his seven. editor earned their money. Like a large cosmic warehouse. Vibrating I guess that's confirmed by the micro prophecy, seeing as uh, those were supposed, supposed to be guards. three books and end up being seven books. Yeah. And like 48 prefaces. Yeah. Vaporize anything he touched. It proved to be immediately effective, vaporizing machines as he touched them. Exploding cluster darts, he thought next. He shot them at a row of five guard robots coming towards him. It was a colossal explosion. The ground shook. It was Who would very like effective. a story where How there's no robots, he thought. There's no conflict here. He just has to think of the solution. And then it solves itself. There's no, yeah. He just, the I, I need Next to hurt do, these guys so I think of like weapons. And I need to escape this so I think of doing that. Just like Stephen King. Yeah, the, it was five pages <laughs> long. They thought about like killing the fucking clown so he died. Yep. The end. And then that child rape scene. 
So all the people were surrounded by egg-shaped force fields. That's very prophetic of what Michael is now saying. I don't even know how this Next, ends. Of sensitive uh, hopefully with a gunshot. <laughs> Super high temperature heat ray, he thought. Next, he shot one of these at a robot and it instantly melted. Molten metal destroyed other nearby robots as well, and he was impressed. He scorched through level after level. Drone robots... Even David's characters are impressed with themselves. Yep. ...tearing explosions, and bizarre-looking machines disintegrated as he touched them. Stephanie Simonson, thank you very much. That's another he name I the recognize. Game he, had played. he formed arms for his spaceship and a luminous sword of yellow fire. So now it's like Voltron or the Transformers. Yeah. And again, you know, this is... Uh, yeah, Archangel just like Michael. it. This is Archangel Michael's sword of fire, and apparently this is something we're all going to be able to do. It's the Jedi thing. Apparently, George Lucas was inspired by the channelings of the 1950s, and it had some of this in there. He was feeling high from the feeling of combat. <laughs> he felt supreme, all-powerful. His sword cut through robots what like... What a weird thing to include that the character gets high off murder. Yeah. By these Seems like an odd detail. <laughs> the supply of war drones that he had created. My drone robot friends need companions, he thought to himself. He formed robotic dogs to fight with the robots. He gave them explosive... Well, yeah, you don't want your robots to be lonely. You're a little bird, Harry. Like shots, <laughs> I just wanted to hit a button. Heads, <laughs> laser... <laughs> yes, prophetic Austin Powers. Nice. Nine years before the laser beam thing came out. That's really funny, too. Oh, he uh, predicted you know. that. And also yeah, I of course. Okay. That in the story of my alleged past life is Ra Pta, one of Casey's alleged past lives, where he built the Great Pyramid. This is how they fought. They manifested, you know, things out of thin air. Oh, they I got see. They animals to fight. They gave them battle armor. They became battle animals, and the animals were under the control of the people fighting the battle. It was based, very, very interesting. Based on and what? Again, when you look at this, it's like the same thing. He's forming robotic dogs, and they have all these interesting weapons. They scorched through the enemies automatically and made his job much easier. As he advanced through the levels, the robots became tougher and tougher to destroy. He had a Just like a video game. <laughs> and then made his sword into an internal core antimatter weapon. He equipped himself and the drones with antimatter rays, and he changed the flying This is the most autistic shit I've ever had to listen to. Boy, is very it. glad the people were shielded. And I think, again, this is symbolic of the war that we're going through now and the fact that we're going to be okay as the evil is defeated by the Alliance. Or, the but the Alliance failed, according to Corey. He reached level 50 and suddenly any, everything changed. Oh, so now it is just a video game. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. The robots came in different shapes. There were war lions, war crabs, war this is just, this war just shitty fan <laughs> fiction. <laughs> it's just so intensely stupid. Drones were getting waxed. He increased the thickness of their armor and gave them force fields to explode anything they touched. He gave the war drone I wish we could make one of our neighbors to listen to this. <laughs> just, like, just to see how a normal person reacts so, yeah, to this. The same way David needs to talk to a normal person, I feel like we need a, a unsullied mind to Yeah, we need a normie's opinion of what this is. Yeah. Oh, I think he's lost his mind. <laughs> Have you considered it might be completely crazy? Why was there so much gay sex? He seemed to think that it was come on every drawing. Why did he keep saying he was not gay but then doing gay things? That was very weird. Who says they are not gay that much? <laughs> My cousin used to say that, and it turned out he was very gay. The lady dot. Blows him away. Oh yeah, you blew him. Yeah, yeah, boy, did you? I got to level sixty, and I sucked the dead dick. Exploded in anticipation. The end was very, very close. They churned through the mush, burning and blasting everything in their way. The mush is your mind, David. Yeah, how does this just keep going? He felt the same surge of anticipation. He would get when he played a home video game. The finality of making it to the monster at the very end of the game. Well, that's at, the, at the part where you realize the, the, the main character can just defeat anything. He had conquered you didn't need 30 games. pages Contra, after that. Destroyed. No. He felt that since this combat was so similar to a video game, he could do the exact same thing to win that he had done on the Nintendo. Blow the cartridge. <laughs> loomed at the end. It was ornately decorated with gargoyles. Hmm, demonic gargoyles. That's Lucifer's Palace. And sculpture and chimera like sculptures of repulsive alien beasts. Yeah, this is so awesome, folks. L listen to this. So awesome. This is, is, yeah, it's fantastic. The designs of the door. They were sickening and black. They pulsed with brooding, <laughs> oppressive plants. light. <laughs> Angular shapes and designs. That's the black. Do I make you thorny? <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> more prediction of Oscar Powers. Again, I'm drawing all this based on my dream memory. This is not just imagination. This is me very accurately trying to report what my dream was. Angular shapes and designs within circular areas. Those are magic circles. It must be so confusing to, like to have his brain. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Especially at this point. 
How <laughs> it crashed towards the door, it was oppressive, looming. Because this doesn't turn off when the, when the camera the turns off. He, no. He is... Like a huge drill. I'm exhausted from five hours of this. Yeah. He does this 24-7. He's trapped with him. These are just his thoughts. He's this guy all the time. And this is him. No wonder he can't go out in public. nervously awaiting the end. Suddenly, a thought occurred to him. He's got to too many important success. stories to write. <laughs> anything he visualized could happen just the way he wanted to. Therefore, he had nothing to lose and everything to gain. He knew that he. I mean, I guess he'll have plenty of time to write when he's in prison for the tax issue. Yeah. Hideous anger. He fired the nuclear engine by pressing the special large red button he had created. Instantly, maybe that's what the hotel is. It was predicting, uh, predicting his incarceration. Yeah, maybe. In the process, all of the alien warriors were long dead, twitching under a heap of smoking charred metal. His drill cut through the doors like a spoon being pushed through jello. He used he that metaphor in the, the story we read, too. Thick, but he now emerged into a bright room. He's a hack. The only words his stunned mind could come up with for him to say was, What the F? He was in what looked like, oops. Oh, you didn't censor it. Room of the God. Oh, that was no. Really Demonetize him, you too. <laughs> Strike his channel. We lost about 400 people probably in their time zone. They had to go to sleep. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's probably it. Awesome. That's probably what yeah. happened. Yeah, no. 500 people had to go to sleep. Yeah, it's not that you're droning on about absolutely <laughs> fucking nothing. <laughs> not because this is the most intensely boring thing I've ever watched. No, this is great. This is terrific. The chair was unlike anything you'd ever seen before, but its soft cushions looked very comfortable. bleeding viewers. Oh, they, they're probably all going to sleep. Sleep. It's probably just bedtime. He, meanwhile, he was doing this. It was 3 p.m. Yeah, he does this in the afternoon. I guess he figures, you know, about 60% of his viewers are Australian. He looked grim and imposing and quite powerful for his age. Please sit down, he said to Colin, and motioned towards the chair oh, wait. with a wave of his hand. This is the story. Back down, the bulk of his space oh, like it is. This is... The chair. Wow. This is the story. We literally... We well, I didn't realize this. there was a hundred pages of this. Yeah, I didn't realize we had just read the excerpt. That's... Uh, I think I, I think I made that public on our, our YouTube again. If people want to go search out our David Wilcock table read. Yes, we did a dramatic reading of yeah. this script at a certain point. He had changed his ship back into a suit for easier access because he no longer needed his nuclear drill. His eyes never left the man's penetrating glance as he sat in the chair. <laughs> oh, penetrating. The old man began to speak. So, you really think you're something, huh? You come in here, kill my people, and destroy my ship. He inclined his head towards Colin, tipping it to one side, squinting his eyes. Well, just tell me this, he implied, staring thoughtfully at Colin. I, ca what I can't do for believe. You I can't believe there was a hundred pages of this. Place to I'm, stay, food I am hungry, dumbstruck to right now. After, and the parties you enjoyed so much in your life. A chance to live in a place where your only responsibility is to build things. And he's thought this was, we offered you a this was so good. Games every day. He put Far it in that book. Used to be able yeah. To on. You could and in this. Now you tell me, son. What's he the kept the whole that? thing. He looked angry. You destroyed my ship. I think I'd like to know why. Colin stood up, aiming the antimatter machine gun at his forehead. Understand this, mother effer, Colin said, his eyes glaring. And notice I drew something like the lunar lander again. These sketches were from years before. This I is wrote fucking this novel. I was doing a little crossing thing. lines. He really thought circle. this was going to be a movie. He did. No one, and I mean no one, can ever tell me what to do with it, my it, life. It, there's nothing more pathetic than a 51-year-old man me. still trying to be sell something slave. he created at age 16. Yeah. yeah. Working all day with glazed eyes, staring at nothing. F you. They don't understand do my brilliance. I can make anything. No, it's too ahead of my time. They just don't get it. Donations coming in here. Mar Mar Marie just people Margaret begging him to stop. <laughs> David, go back to the gay rape. <laughs> no. <laughs> we're going to read my six screenplay. So called friends reported missing that were with him. God bless you all. Thank you. We will include him. Oh. Julia and Georgia that... donated $100. And Wait, said, oh, and that person just had someone get kidnapped and he's sending money to David? Gee, you've been missing since May. Oh. In live meditation. Oh, okay. Sorry. You got to meditate for his uncle Luke. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not dead in the forest. No. hundred dollars and said I have Rata's mark, which all of his followers had. I donated four digits to PayPal a while ago. Wow, thank you. Thank you for all you do and have done. Four digits to his PayPal? No wonder they, they shuttered his account. Yeah, he probably saw, they thought he was fucking selling dope. Get back to you, David, when it happens. That's funny. Funny. We're having fun here. We're almost done. Please we're send hour. money if we're you win. Show, so just hang with me. We're having fun Thanks, here. <laughs> are we? <laughs> yeah, are we? Da I mean, I think you're having yeah. fun. Don't stop me, you son of a bitch. I can make anything that I want. No one can hold me down. I don't care who you are or what you represent. If you try to keep me in your prison, I will use all the force in the universe to smash you down. Sounds pretty threatening. Yeah, he super threatening. Speech. He realized how childish he had been I don't remember which him, character really I good. read in this uh, story. Out, I don't recall either. I think I might have been the old man. He just waited for the signal. So, you want to be an individual, the man said to him. You want to stand alone. That's fine. Plenty of our humans here work in the special areas of the hotel <laughs> <laughs> Some of them become teachers. Others just build wonderful things. 
Why don't you just stay with us? We can provide you with anything you could ever ask for. Wrong, Colin said. I want my freedom. He opened fire on the man. Antimatter explosion. I love that his own writing makes him chuckle. The image of the man still sat as though it was supported by an invisible chair. Up, oh, Phil Kusuberus donated fifty dollars. My, my marketing professor wife Elizabeth always says your oral storytelling method is fantastic. Please stop. On stage two, I'm so begging you. Is going to fight the swelling negative energy wave. The aftermath will be positively epic. Yeah, I don't know why anybody would be down on this work. But anyway, yeah, I can't, can't yeah, yeah no, I can't get why. Why would anyone not love the this? Face is grinning and cackling insanely. Nice try, call. He said, but I'm only a hologram. It's too bad for you. You thought you could oh, just kill me and end noise? all your problems. Well, it isn't that easy. He's trying to get a cat to come over. I can recreate every level. Come here, kitty. You're so tired now. I don't think. Oh, you think I'm gay too, kitty? Okay. Just stay with us. Your creativity is so extraordinary. There is so much we can do with you. We could promise you a very big role of leadership here, Mr. James. You could have a very exciting job. You could do anything. Who the fuck is Mr. James? I guess Colin James. They probably did try I, to get me not I to I don't leave. think he included again, that really name no. really in any other previous part of the story. You could do anything you want. Won't you let us take care of you? If you leave, you'll just go back to a life of school books and pimple popping, which is what would happen if I got taken out of the parallel lifetime. Oh, wow. Don't you want to use the extraordinary gifts we can give you? He felt unruffled. He knew exactly what he had to do. Yeah, he unruffled. His mind all at once. <laughs> he crouched into a ball, and with his mind, he began to create himself. He knew that the image of the man in his ornate office no longer mattered. Everything went dark and completely silent. Now, this is another thing that the dream had that I didn't quite illustrate, is that as my character meditated in the dream, I envisioned seven different bodies that were all nested together like the Russian Maskoroshka dolls. And I went into the largest of the seven bodies that was very, very large, like the size of, I don't know, our solar system or something. Uh -huh. So that's part of the story that was in the dream that I didn't quite put into the novel. Thank oh. you for informing us. <laughs> so he well, I, was, I wasn't going to get it without that. No, no, that was uh, crucial yes, information. Enhancing his abilities by making himself like a demigod or a deity. This is now very law of one. Oriented, Just describing the shit you imagine on for 100 pages. Yep. Mountains. His body got larger and larger, appearing to be a web-like network of twinkling starry points of light. As he grew, the web changed colors from pink to blue to green to orange, always returning to white. And this, again, is very reminiscent of the Aurora Borealis we were just talking about. Oh, yeah. Basically, that, that's yeah, it. David's there, a real Borealis. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, he, he arrived in the shape that he uh, called colossal. This uh, is the one that was the size of the solar system. He floated. He floated. It's space, just never ending. It just, <laughs> it just, it just, it just keeps, keeps going. Mind, he uh. a large upright computer with two huge screens and a massive control panel. He decided to make it a universe shaping computer. At least usually his, his presentations, the they worlds. were they were shit, but oh, they were all over the place. World. So you got to hear about a bunch of shit the topics. Yeah. Theory, he approached the touch sensitive. This is elongated shit. <laughs> the whole mess. Set up Earth image screen left. He typed. And again, there's no mouse because I was doing this in 1990. <laughs> A beautiful it's also not real. Yeah, I mean, it's fake. In the screen on the left. keeps Bullet drawing that symbol, too. Isolate alien complex and place it in an interstellar orbit, he typed. An image of the bullet-shaped alien craft appeared, rotating while spinning around the Earth in orbit. Remove human inhabitants, shield them from space, and return the alien evil spaceship to its original location. Well, folks, this is a prophecy of the solar flash that will be all shielded. Is it? Evil is was that what it was? It's plucked out one by one. This is total law of one. Everything that was said in the Michael prophecy is all prophetic in this dream from 1990. It's incredible. This is very interesting to me. A cluster of people. <laughs> well, as long as you're interested. Yeah. Yeah, at least he included that part. Of love. I don't think we're actually going into outer space. I think this was a depiction to make it easier for me to see it in the dream. Man, how were you in the space program if you weren't in outer space, though? System. This is the aliens. It plunged headlong into the brightest star in the canopy of space. Colin identified the huge star as Virgo, a supercluster with billions of galaxies. Interesting, he thought to himself. And we got some more donations. Allison Carr, ten dollars. Thank you very much, Allison. Coming back again. New pro. He started to type again. New program. Screen left. I wonder if he'll keep reading donations during the meditation. Earth planet will not I don't think he can help himself. Breathe in. This is exactly five dollar donation. Lands where new crazy <laughs> civilization can be established and new civilizations can develop. Transfer humans from spaceship to the new planet, Western Hemisphere. So this is exactly the idea that the Earth is completely transformed. There's very Please just, just read, in this. This read this. Yeah. Stop Check adding your commentary. You don't need to give us any more exposition. But but the story is so important that he's giving us director's <laughs> commentary <laughs> as he goes <laughs> through it. <laughs> it's too brilliant. You won't understand otherwise. You, won't, you just won't get it. <laughs> it's too deep. In the mountainous area of New York State, they'd already been in, in a moderate shelter like an ancient hotel. He created many pleasures of every kind on the planet's surface. Spiritual entity donated 100 nope. Thank you. <laughs> The fuck no kind of currency is that? I don't even know. Himself to the planet. He's getting fucking alien currency. <laughs> place in New York, cradle of civilization. I was really into being in New York at the time, not anymore. 
and I'll go there sometimes. Well, you he can't afford it anymore. Yeah. Button, ready Too to expensive enter, now. Suddenly he had another inspiration. He pressed the comma, ended the sentence like this, pressing return. Project me back to Earth in a bed with the new with my new girlfriend Debbie. Nice. Now, this is really Hell funny yeah, because dude. Uh, my publisher, Penguin Random House, the Dungeon Give me pussy. Said the boy. Not allowed to be in a bed with somebody as a teenager. Okay. So we had to change the story and leave that part out. But there you go. That's how I ended the story. So Wait, who, who told them to remove that part? I think his his late his, his Dutton. Yeah, the book. Oh, that got removed from. This was in Awakening in the Dream, wasn't it? We I read think, it from one of those. I so. think so. Yeah. That it was you know I'm a teenager and you're not allowed to be in a bed with somebody as a teenager. Yeah, you okay. can't depict so child sex. <laughs> <laughs> I urban. thought it was okay. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> this is the back page of that notebook. And again, it has this holographic breakdancing thing. Yeah, thank you for showing us so this for this the fifth my, or sixth uh, time. This was a college I applied to, Bard University. I didn't end up going. That was... Oh, um, oh there's his name. I shouldn't have had that. That was a college application. Anyway, what was his name? What was the... Uh, this is a college application essay. Why is his name spelled Wilcox? What an excellent question. I did not catch that. Why... Is this his writing? Or is this someone... Did someone just spell his name wrong? That um, oh, is interesting. There. Anyway, whatever. I don't even know if he's still around. Dave he's probably he dead. Now, he had read <laughs> the story, okay? He read the story. And then he and, killed uh, himself. <laughs> yeah, really nice here. <laughs> That's what happened to everyone who read it. It's like, like the no ring. If yeah. you read it, you'll die in seven days. David is a perfect candidate for the approach you've described. He has a rich imagination and a willingness to participate, which makes him a real asset in any discussion. At present, he is a real a tight ass. <laughs> and, 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 and has great potential. He has a wide range of interests in such diverse er areas as space-time continuum and shamanism. He is a responsible individual, well liked by peers and students alike. I recommend. That's not true. I doubt that. Okay, so now. Oh so my God! There's out, a second book. I no, to have something that was also you can't. More and so you can't do this to us. Come on, Dave. He can't get away with this. I thought you were done. We have Shadow of Ezra talking about this, and we only got like I'm going to end it very, very soon. So I want you to read. You about promise? The yeah. <laughs> Pinky swear, <laughs> Dave. And it's in book two of Michael Prophecies. The Great Ball of so this Light. This was what dream. Michael was saying at the beginning of the dream. Walls of love. That's the walls that protect us. Oh, no, Sustain the mines a, for one dollar. Michael this is what Dream. I'm doing here. I have two mines on my property, and I've had no money. After all, a <laughs> what? Yeah, today, that's always funny to me when he says he has no money. <laughs> that, Good joke, be. Dave. <laughs> yeah. So now I'm describing the dream that I had. We were all on a beautiful oceanfront property, and once I got to Santa Monica. I realized it looked exactly the same as the Santa Monica Pier. I didn't know that at the time, so it's not written in here. We were all on a beautiful ocean. I'm pretty sure this dream is very, very in the Michael prophecies. Probably. Damage was being caused, and we were worried about how society was taking such a toll. So this, again, seems to be prophetic of the storm, as the Alliance has called it. Oh, uh, yeah. Storm means There was the a cute woman involved who was jogging and encouraging me to do the same. I was in an area with my brother. The storm was coming and getting worse and worse. We were both getting scared. Um. I was definitely with some of my older friends from high school. I was by the beach. That is where Santa giant Monica is. Some kind of giant iguana by the tail and was flying it around. That represents the military. The U.S. is the <laughs> evil. The iguana is the evil of the. You're nation. flying the iguana. Yep. Right. The eagle seemed to have uh, that represents the, the military. Of course. Let it go so it would smash on the rocks. And the eagle could then eat it. This was a very very huge lizard. I wasn't sure if the impact would kill him. It didn't seem what? like he was going to land on. He was only going to land on sand. <laughs> It's he just, just, down by releasing it's his just body meaningless. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, just fucking what, nothing. nothing. So we literally have what are we doing? Is it just two hours of empty calories? <laughs> which is, again, a very common theme long before I knew this stuff really existed. Uh, it's just, it's the no intellectual equivalent of just drinking a glass of sugar. Yeah. Went down by the ocean. There's just nothing the here. and started tearing after him. We still have 3,000 people. Thank you guys for hanging in. We're very oh, close so to we're two. Everyone okay. started to freak out. Last week, he was at like 5,500. Yeah. So we're, we, the, the amount of people willing to sit through this has dropped in half. Yeah, he's really testing his audience. Like, well, everyone's probably asleep. <laughs> <laughs> they all have to go to bed, <laughs> even though that doesn't happen in your usual presentation. <laughs> I believe a depiction of you know the reality that we're having these beings exist. That they're controlling people on Earth and they're trying it to. It is good. Us. There's like a live audience feedback though, because maybe it, the message will get through to him. Iguana. Yeah, we'll see how next week does. Oh God, next week. Maybe that's connection. We can't let him win. <laughs> no. So there you go. It's all part of the alliance stuff. That's something that we got to go in the next frame to see. When the reptilian started to chase the drug user, a storm started to roll in. So this is the thing: the reptilian drops down, and then the drug the drug addicted guy, the reptilian, that's you. <laughs> centered on him. And began chasing him. So this is representative of how, if you have negative karma, 
that the negative can come after you. Not literally like a reptilian chasing you, but you'll get bad karma. And then there's a reference again to the storm. Storm starts to roll in. It was a great deal of danger. Well, storms really, really have exhilarated. actually existed for a long time. They've been around, yeah. The storms have been around Friendly since before QAnon. More than that. They are a uh, pre-2017 invention. The yeah. Up some new energy. So that was just one line that he added in there. We were inside a gorgeous house. I looked out at the ocean, and a huge lightning bolt touched the water. I was saying to my brother, oh, my God, oh, my God. In reality, I just oh my God. Oh my God. about how lightning was the Glad you did it. <laughs> as the tower of death. So this is prophetic of the defeat of the reptilians by this massive, incredible ball of light. It's called the Great Ball of Light Dream. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. What a window. dream. The lightning strikes the water once again, this time even closer than before. The beam was scintillating blue. And then they said, prepare yourself for the scintillating merger with the light that awaits you. We read that quote last week. The beam was scintillating blue, and it was utterly... Oh, did we read something you're repeating again? <laughs> I can't believe it. Wow. See is the beam would strike the surface it's getting me very close to pressing like a certain button. <laughs> the nuclear option. This is what the first wave of ascension will probably be like for some people. I shouted out, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> Lightning. Lightning. <laughs> Anna Drain just donated 129 sec. Thank you. Does he have any fucking English audience? Like, is there? No, they're all they're all foreigners. There's no dollars or euros. Energy started coming into me through the window. My brother didn't understand what was going on. I moved down into the lower bunk at first, and then I actually just walked right out into the light. Wave after wave of this blue, powerful energy was surging into me, going directly through me, and I could feel it. It was totally ecstatic. It was about five or six bursts. Uh -huh. I kept screaming yes over and over again. As it was yes, so yes, oh God, yes. Wild, oh, into burst into me, oh <laughs> yes. I was looking out the window and the storm had started um. to the side. I saw this older guy. Every oh God, it feels ecstatic, <laughs> oh yes. It wasn't bad though. This is this prediction of QAnon. Really lightning people. It appeared to be a calm beam this of divine gay erotic guy. <laughs> <laughs> now this is what was so interesting. I was doing this dream, and I was, you know, doing a dream. the Michael books, and I got to the end. I was near the end of book two. I was actually on this dream, putting this into the book right near the end. And exactly after I inserted this into the book on February thirteenth, in Brazil, we have the Emperor Lula, who said everybody's going to have to get inoculated. It doesn't matter what. You, there's no excuse. Brazil you has an no, emperor. Do it. Yeah. And then That's he made that sick. announcement on the same day. There was multiple strikes of lightning on the Christ the Redeemer statue, which is so massive. So this is yeah, that's why the lightning hit it. Because it's very tall. A massive ball of light that's, that's hitting us and turning us into this amazing ascended form on the very same day. <laughs> oh, I get it. The Christ the Redeemer. Here it is. He from wrote about, lightning he read the Brazil, about lightning, the Christ, the and then lightning the happened somewhere in the world. Oh, All right. Feet, a stunning scene was captured when the 100-foot tall statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro was recently hit by lightning. It was captured during a flash storm in Brazil. If the viral pictures are to go by, the bolt of flash struck the head of the statue, and it seemed to turn the sculpture into a godly figure. This was the same day I put this dream into the book. It's incredible. Another Amazing. One was Michael Timeless. Wow. So then it says here, photographer captures lightning striking Christ the Redeemer statue. So this is very, very amazing. And again, Michael did this on purpose. Uh, this is not an accident. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Must have been Michael. After, yeah, it couldn't, couldn't be anything else. That's dream, where I became so true. With the lightning that was called Zelazanea. And that's, that name is tied into all sorts of interesting anagramic encrypted cipher codes yes it so once again we're at the I end don't... now i'm about to do the meditation we still oh, got three thousand people we're three thousand forty seven thank you guys for hanging there with me <laughs> he lost uh, two thousand people minutes, jesus so less than three and a half hours that so again if you want to go to https oh yeah if, yeah, yeah. anyone who enjoyed that right it was yeah. plenty more where that came from. make sure to plug it's only seventy dollars really to, to, to get to get writing of that quality there's so many time loops that it's great that he hasn't improved at all since 16. no no not at all I hope you liked my budding stories. No, it was dog oh, shit. Yeah, they were terrible, actually. It was fucking you garbage. How throughout my entire you life, should feel very bad. Always been this, this I pray you've run out. Weird stuff. <laughs> and I find out, hey, you know, these weird dreams I had of being eaten, maybe that was real. These weird dreams I had of yeah, being maybe I was getting a uh, butt fucked. And I wrote this very, very elaborate science. <laughs> I hadn't story. thought about <laughs> it like that before, <laughs> but now that I think about it, deep underground military base, as we say with the David, you know, we did, like we did have to sit through, and then we send the alien base back four to four plus hours of this. Yeah, but 
and then they're brought back to the earth. We got some excellent so David highlights out of it. We got some real good ones. Are you a homosexual? <laughs> very, very tightly mirrors. No. We out. also found out George H.W. Bush, Bush, Bush fucked David. Yeah, that's that's a new revelation. I gotta have enough time to do it. Okay, I gotta have enough. We time also found out David coughed out cum at a certain point. Yeah, so much cum he blew out clouds. It's like he has a vape full of cum that he is. This is that six milligram cum. <laughs> uh, I, I would love to do oh, you just haven't you haven't had a chance to get the, the books published. That's oh. not that a publisher yeah, won't do it. It would take me probably a whole week of nonstop full time effort just to do one of the books. Oh wow, one whole books, week. I don't know if I'd get through all of them, but I just have to have uh -huh. a life where at least I have some money. I mean, honestly, until we get funded, it's just crazy. Yeah. A lot of my time is spent working for Stavati. We're lining up investors. Well, we it, haven't I would suggest if you have no money, maybe get a job that pays. What could they possibly <laughs> have you doing? <laughs> David, really uh, go read more so of, of your childhood stories for and gay symbolism. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So this is it's folks. crucial we're, we're to the mission. You're now. sure the Japanese <laughs> want <laughs> this? Uh, yeah, 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 Dave. They love gay sex stories. Yes, Mr. Yokohama. Yokohama slice. He's very specific. <laughs> yeah. About this. It's not going to be very long, so you don't have to leave. We still got three thousand people. I don't know. Yeah, you don't have to leave. We need you here to help save the planet. Oh shit! Okay, so here we go. This is the worst fucking video. Yeah, this is easily the worst two-hour stream. He's ever had. <laughs> this was abysmal. Just, just nothing. Just. Oh, thank God, we did it. Oh, okay. Let's. I just. I don't even know what that was about. I don't know what. Yeah, I don't. Maybe he'll summarize. Wants to say if it's. All right, hold on. We're getting back to. He meditated for like three seconds. He's kind of given up on it. He used to do it for like twenty minutes. Recommend. And also, please click the subscriber bell and the notification bell. Yeah, if you want more where this came from. Yeah, you want more <laughs> gay rape. <laughs> go visit Shadow My every stupid day. childhood <laughs> writing. And they say there's only one country left, and the whole Ukraine thing is winding down very quickly. There's a lot of interesting stuff going on right now. I do not expect we're going to wait until November at all. I call that the November bias. And I don't buy into it. The events are going to take. I mean, we're at the end of May, November, though. Very, very yeah, we're kind of getting pretty close here, really Dave. This is going to turn out, but again, so, it's very creepy. We got like the 14 weeks. Say, if it's a saint, if it's an angel, or if it's Christ, you can't yeah. say it's real. Only we can. Okay, well. I mean, I'm that is their that position. Not, I'm just sharing my data with you, and you get to make up your own mind because that's called freedom. You don't have to believe something. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude! Something You're nice, brother. And tells you that it's true. And so, without further ado, I want to thank you all for being here. It's always sad when I have to leave. Let's read a couple of your comments on the way out. What the hell? Oh, Coffee Prager says the labyrinth stories are much like the hunting parties that Jesse Kazobatar discusses. I've never heard of him. I was heartbroken when you first came out with your memories. You're such an amazing soul. Love and light to you. It's all scripted like a movie, says Milkman. <laughs> Iwan Up Gwilem says, Love you, brother. May all here be <laughs> Who the by fuck the are spirit. these people? Is he your paying like Indian yeah. bots? Lord, are they Philippines? Be my dad, I guess. Gregory Leon Watson, I need to watch this again. We can learn to use our minds in the dream state. Bam. All Ifia says it's all good and very cool and prophetic. I always enjoy your work. Thank you, David. Kyle Heather says it's better than anything on Netflix. Thank you. I hope you like that content. All right, bitch. I just saw Strange <laughs> this is all Skylight fake. This yeah. can't be what real. Come on now. Gary says it was really interesting to see your handwriting, Dave. I wonder if it has changed much. No, it's pretty much the same, just not as messy. Fascinating. You look good already, says Fuzzy Tiger Cat. Haunted Doll says, whoops, what happened? I just had everything shift. Sometimes that, that takes place. It sure does. Well, it must be the deep state. It's like starting to go fast because now you guys are reading it. But anyway. We're at three hours, 28 minutes. Everybody pray for the missing man. Yes, please pray for the oh, missing yeah, man. Oh, yeah, that guy. I yeah. I put that into the meditation, but we did, we did acknowledge Oh, I so forgot. Oh, yeah, yeah, I <laughs> actually don't My care. bad. <laughs> I hope he fucking dies. Yeah, yeah fuck, fuck him. Our ships, I'd love to get you and as many here. He's never going to be found. In. Yeah, he's, he's, he's gone. He's in a fucking 50-gallon drum yeah. somewhere at the bottom of a lake. Yeah, I did my best. Yeah. Dr. Amanda, lost Dr. Amanda Noel. Oh, here she is. Freedom, love, light, and PTSD healing from all the reptilian elite yucky stuff we've dealt with. I'm unpacking parallel life stuff and it's quite traumatic. Love heals all. How many yes, people are this crazy? People. It's kind of concerning so many people relate to this. There's a lot of them, dude. Sovereign 17 RXP says, you the man. Look up Jesse Kazebatar. Can't believe you don't know who she is. Came out of the system. David, Your please so make this stop. <laughs> yeah. I can't give I in, but you said we were ending. Peace to him. May he find his way home. Love you, David and Gurley. Love and blessings to you. You guys are so nice. There's hardly any trolls today. I don't know why, but... Because your mods banned them all. Yeah, what do you mean? That's it for me. Over and out.
Thank you for watching. We will see you hopefully next Sunday, unless something biblically bad happens to me between now and then. Oh, wait, your lips to God's ears, lost, brother. <laughs> already, thank you all. Thank you for supporting us. We will see you next time. I really appreciate you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Jesus oh, Christ. Jesus Christ. It was a lot. That is it's too much to consume in one sitting yeah it's a lot it is it's like chugging an entire bottle of hard liquor like yeah. you're not meant to do you're supposed to take a few shots and then put yeah. it away for a while about 45 minutes and you go i made a mistake <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to do a handstand and butt chug the entire bottle in uh, one go well david butt chugs and, <laughs> and yet here we are um, Patreon.com slash in plain side pot. We're going to watch, uh, I don't know, probably more first 48. I've been enjoying the first 48. Nice. Uh, at Hidden and Plain Side Radio on Instagram. We are at the Hidden Pod on Twitter. Uh, you are at Brandon Steele Hidden on Instagram. Until next <laughs> week when David tells us more gay sex stories. Hell yeah. Who do? Mamba out. <laughs>